So cute. Hello. Oh, my hair looks like an 85 year old. Wig. No, I was just going to say, I Tracy. really like your hair. Jody. Like, okay, let's <laughs> you first say, of all, let's introduce ourselves. Is that what you were going to say? Sure. Because people were like, are you guys sisters? And then I just think, oh my gosh, we know who we are. We know where we live, but maybe there's people joining us that don't. Okay. I'm Jody Brown. <laughs> <laughs> And she's very excited about that. I'm excited about that. You're Jody. I'm Tracy. We are sisters. We live in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Yeah. Which today is super duper rainy and gray, which to me means knitting weather. Um, somebody said the S word in the very near future. I hear Calgary's getting snow this weekend. Or the possibility is great. Their overnight temperatures are below zero degrees Celsius. So and ours. it's very wet. Okay, well, we might get snow. Which to me, it's way too early, but whatever. It's way too early. We are... Um, I love the cool, though. The coolness. I'm hot. I should have thought twice about wearing a Oh my gosh, sweater. you walked in. You're wearing the turtle dove sweater knit in Luft, Wolfolk Luft, and it is the coziest sweater ever. 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 And I, I, the day like today is the perfect day to wear it. So that's the downside for me nowadays is I can't even cozy up. I can't even layer with t-shirt. Because of like hot flashes and stuff. Yes. Yeah. It's very upsetting. Yeah, it is. I totally Not agree. Really. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> Well, it's when your natural tendency is to want to get cozy and wear fluffy sweaters and stuff. And then really it just, I mean, at this point it just infuriates you, right? Yes. Like when you get so hot, I get so bitchy. I mean, it's not more fun. than usual. Like I don't, I don't, I know a lot of people when they have like hot flashes they get sweaty, like an actual hot Jeff's surge. Jeff's mom used to drip. Yes. Sweat. I don't get that. Me either. I don't get like the burning surge. I get, I read hot a lot. I, I've i had that burning surge in the middle of the night. I Literally where I felt like I my too. body's on fire. Yeah. Um, this is a knitting podcast, people. Oops. Who? <laughs> Knock, knock. We have not tuned into a menopause podcast. So I, I'm at a crossroads with my hair. I know we've talked about it a lot. It sounds like I'm very Jody, vain. it's a big deal. No, okay. it isn't. It's a so, big deal when you have short hair so to love it. I've got it clipped here because, you guys, it is, like, ridiculously long right now. You have super cute waves. Do I? Hello, forehead. Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think I have bangs? Do I continue to try and grow it? Because I'm really kind of past that... Horror. I'm still... What are you going for? I what style... That's the trouble. ...do you want that you're going for? Here's the thing. Since I uh, broke up with my hairdresser... Right. I have not officially had... I've been going to, like, kind of like a barber. Random. Yeah. Right? It's yes, kind of like yes. a super cuts. <laughs> there's <laughs> nothing wrong with that. The, no. There's nothing wrong with that. But the trouble is... But is, you don't have the relationship established where they are feel comfortable enough to yeah. suggest things right well and they're comfortable at that super cuts with like they think men's you're doing cuts great. yes right yes the the one that i go to and the girl that i see is just she's not as familiar up, up to date fashion yeah. up to date yeah. with the fashion trends and hair okay we need to we need to pe people edmonton people that are out there um if you know someone that is awesome with super short shattered haircuts preferably gay well, that would just be in the bonus column. Right. You, I mean, yeah. So give us some recommendations if you have. They've got to be them. west. It's got to be within 15 minutes of me driving. If they're not go. around the corner from Jody's house, she's not going. <laughs> That's the trouble. This super cut place is like literally, I could walk in five I minutes. I know. Well. Anyway, yeah, so that's where I'm at. Okay, so. I've always been jealous of your hair because it's got this amazing natural wave. You have amazing have hair to work with. Yes. Um. And it's more about what you want, Jode. I mean, you look really cute with your hair right now. You looked really cute with it crazy spiky. And that was ridiculously easy for you to do. You literally just kind of went Here's every the morning. Thing. I would cut my hair really short. Like Halle Berry short. That's what I love. She I feel like I look like a pinhead. <laughs> no. Do you know like my body's so big and then I've got this teeny shrunken head. <laughs> you were. There's anyway. wrong with you. I just look at pictures and I think, oh, she needs more hair. Right? So that's where I'm at. So oh, she needs more hair. Okay, but you can still get this length completely shattered. Where yes. you've got lots of movement and, yes. you know, razor or whatever they do to it. But you can make it spiky. And you can still have that's a volume That's an excellent, 
excellent point because I'm thinking this or short, and there's an in between. There is there's another option. There's the length, but then you take volume out. <gasps> And you do need a good stylist, Joe. You do. You just rocked my world. Well, yes. I had that haircut for a long time. I want to be able to many tuck this years ago. My ear. Yeah, super cute. I'm close. Some of it. Some of it. Super close. It's almost touching. <laughs> I mean, it's really embarrassing, but I've had pretty much the same haircut for. But it couldn't suit. Like you when more. Meg Ryan was in movies, <laughs> that's when I got this haircut. You're wearing the Meg. I'm wearing a super outdated. Okay. But Tracy, so is she. Is she still wearing yeah, it? Yeah. With John Cougar Mellencamp. Ew. Wow. <laughs> That's couple. No. They've been um, together a long time. Yeah. It would be so cool to have a guy that was like a rock star. That I would just swear. jam and write love songs about you. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. So hello, knitting friends. Look at this. That's the trauma today. Uh, I know, right? So I woke up this morning and I still had sleep in my eyes and I was like, I'm not ready. I've got to go make something up on our little board. And this the only thing that's really on my mind these days is our Knit City Countdown. I'm so excited. Uh, yes. I'm very, so excited. Very, very excited. You know what I just happened yesterday? I don't. I finished my Knit City bag order. That's giant. Tracy. Jody, I don't even know if people know you're going to be at Knit City. That's why I wanted to talk. I will okay. talk about it more. Okay, I'm going to show now. Let's Might do well. now. We're on the topic. So I'm going to be in Alicia's booth. She invited me to be in her booth. I will not be in Alicia's booth. My bags will be. Yeah, let's be clear. So Knit City, if you don't know, is a giant fiber festival in Vancouver, Canada. It was the first one we ever went to. It blew our brains out. We bought tons of We just can't imagine not going. Yes. And so we've made tons of friends from going to this festival, right? So our super wonderful friend, Alicia, is Yarn Inc. And you're going to be in her, well, not really. Your bags will be in her booth. I am. Um, so I actually have so many fabrics. I am only bringing Yarn Inc. fabrics. That's awesome. And she had dyed me up three new ones. <gasps> I haven't so seen them. So I'm super excited to show it. Good. Okay, this one is called... Tracy? Steampunk. Oh, is it? It's so beautiful. You have this colorway. Don't you in that kit? That I do. I have pump? the yarn. Yes, the yarn. I have. Yeah. Okay, can I also just interrupt you for half a second? Because last time we recorded, I fell in love with this bag, and you gave me one, and I've been using it ever since. It's a good size. This, I'm super picky with bags. I love the fabric you use. I love the size that it is. I love the handle. It's, it's a multi-project bag or a sweater or blanket bag. Yeah, I call it a large bag. It's, I used to call it a sweater bag. It's either, right? It's awesome. Yeah, it's a and little it's super sturdy. Like I can hear. This is Spoonflower's denim. They call well, it den denim. Anyway, I hadn't used it before, I don't think. I've had a bucket before, but if yes. for some reason the bag felt like, I don't know, maybe I just carried it around no. more often than the bucket. Because I love it though, Jody. This one, the bucket is compact and square. And I always just grab the handles. Yes. Yeah. Um, this love. one is, I like a bag that's um, more surface and not as high, like longer. It, and that's what this is. It was really great to use. Anyway, sorry to interrupt you, but no. I enjoyed using it so, so much. So this is steampunk. So, love it. Such a good really, color. Isn't it amazing? Oh, come on. Who doesn't want a sweater in that? This is Malibu. <gasps> I love this one. You know her Malibu colorway? Yes. Yes, I have seen it knit into socks, and so, of course, I had to get a skein because of that. Oh, my God. I have it in worsted, you I guys. Actually think, do you? Yes. I actually should have brought it because I have it wound up. Well, I have it right here. <gasps> yes, you do have it. I do. I have it on her sock, um, her classic sock, which is 75-25, and it's super fun. Oh, my God. Tracy, look at that. I know. Matchy. So, it is gorgeous, and it made an amazing bag that turquoisey blue that turquoisey aqua oh i love it with so much. the like 80s i love that pink yeah gorgeous and then the third and final new colorway i will have about seven really, or eight really pretty. this is polaroid this is her show 2019 show colorway it's gorgeous isn't it yes Amazing. it's gorgeous softest softest dusty sort of pink and lavendery almost. Yeah, some hints, of pops of blue, some pops of like burnt orange. Yeah, throughout it's some gray, of course. Alicia's a amazing color wizard. I I think her yarn is beautiful. So what I did was yesterday I sent her 
a whole box full of the sock sacks because she's kidding. There's going to be sock, oh. sack, yarn matching kits. Oh, stop it. But let me just tell you, there isn't a ton. So if you're looking for that, well, don't wait. That's the way it goes. You, yeah. you have to prioritize when you go to these festivals. And if you know there's not a lot of something. You snooze, you lose. You kind of like beeline it to that booth. Um, and so, you, yeah, you may lose out. Who knows, right? There's lots of, but I think you should run. So these three fabrics are debuting in Knit City, but then will it be available in my shop so after? So tell me what you're, what, along with Alicia's oh. amazing booth of yarn, what bags are you selling? I am bring, bringing carry-all totes, the large tote bag. Love. And when I'm telling you this, the I'm doing seven colorways in every bag style. Okay. So a carry-all tote, the large zippered wedge, okay. the bucket tote, and the sock sack. Jody, you've been a machine. It sounds like. Uh-huh. And you finished that order yesterday. I finished, but here's the thing. I finished, like I was aiming to finish Tuesday, this coming Tuesday. Mm -hmm. I'm so far ahead of schedule that I think I'm going to try and do 60 more sock sacks. Because she's kidding 95% right. of the sock sacks. This right. way the sock sacks can also be available You know what? That's amazing. Separate. That is really nice. That is really nice. Because I can get that done in a day. Yeah. Right? I don't know. With the sock sacks or a day and a half. That's amazing. I right. mean, I do. I'm such a fan of your sock sacks too. And if and maybe Alicia will be able to offer more kits. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You so know, that's where we're at. Because that's the thing. Time ends up running out for these makers. And everybody wants to have enough of everything to make everybody happy. Um, that is really nice of you to power through another day to get all this I done. I guess what happened. So I was going to. So this box I sent yesterday was like this. It was $23. I have three giant um, 100 liter Rubbermaid containers yes. with my bags. I That's was going to drive them on Saturday to Okotoks. I hadn't talked to Alicia about this. I was going to drive them Just to her. Just going to knock on your door. And she was going to bring them. Yeah. Robin from Rose Hill, who lives out by Kalmar. Yes. Said, tons of room. Bring your bags to me. <gasps> That's so nice. Yes. Anyway, people are getting bored. They don't want to hear about this. Anyway, come see Alicia. I like hearing about the background workings yeah, of it's stuff. it's fun. Yeah. Uh, booth 204, right behind um, the Knit City merch table when you yes. come in the door. So it's actually one of the entrances. There's yeah. two entrances this year, but the one where you come in and there's the information booth. And Coat the check. And the Knit City booth. Mm -hmm. If you go just like literally behind the, the Knit City merch is, is yarning. Alicia. So it's been really fun to see the map now. They've released the map of where everybody is. So now you can like... You could plan, plan your, your attack. I don't like the word attack really, but it is kind of. Yeah. Um, you could plan your route of browsing mm -hmm. and squishing. Mm -hmm. I'm very excited about Knit City. Yeah, when there's a giant festival as fun as this one and it only comes once a year, it's like Christmas for knitters it is, or it's makers. It's just an amazing festival. Amanda and Fiona that... It's their baby. Yeah. Um, they run a beautiful event. It's just so welcoming. It's not giant and overwhelming. I just find it so much fun to go to. And I guess I kind of compare everything else to Knit City because it was our first one. We mm -hmm. had no clue what to expect. So it's in a gorgeous city. It's got, and it's growing every year, yeah. but at the same time, it still feels manageable. Yes. Like we, I, we've been to festivals that are so much bigger and this is still my happy place. This, this is, is the size so of this much. festival. And I've been to other ones that are this size and it really does just feel like you can quietly wander. There's lots of people. You're going to see lots of people, but it doesn't feel overwhelming. You're going to feel like you see every booth, I think. Most of easily done. Yeah. With the size that it is. I think so too. Yeah. And there's the fun food trucks outside when you <sighs> sort of just need a break. Um, you could go have some amazing, that macaroni and cheese one, excuse me. Those uh, French like potato yes, puffs. Yes, the French one is such a big hit. Yeah. Um, Before so, we get too far, you yeah. mentioned Knit, Knit City, Knit yeah. Social, Amanda and Fiona. Yes. They did put out an email, a mass blanket email. Anyone who is um, industry creatives, yes. dyers, makers. Yes. Um, they do retreats. Yes. And there is some spots in the one coming this October. Yeah. So they, they just last year did one for industry. Because when you go to retreats or when you go to these shows, everybody, all the 
vendors are working. So this is an opportunity for them to go and attend a retreat all together and maybe have some time. Network. So, yeah. yeah. And so we went, um, we bought lot of tickets. I went last year. You got sick. Uh, I have to tell you, it was a great time. So I'm glad we're going again this year. And I can't wait to yeah. meet everybody that also is going. But there is still an opportunity. We're going to have this video up on Thursday. I think they close registration Friday. So we did put it on our Instagram too. Yeah. So. So that's available. Yeah, and, and I think you should go if you're you guys, if you're wishy washying about it and you can fit it in your calendar, go. The you guys you won't regret it. There's just the, it's picturesque, and it couldn't be more relaxing. It really is amazing. Yeah. I'll do anything to go back. You to can sleep on our it. couch. You totally can. It's a pullout. Yes. Um, you can make the coffee. <laughs> okay, so. Um, one more thing, the fiber nook bus. We got to talk about that. Okay. Was well, that on I, your list to talk well, about? No, my list had Knit City. This is, this is in the game plan. Okay, I just good. thought we would do it later at the end, but let's do it now. Okay. And yes, so go ahead. Fiber Nook, who is our amazing local yarn shop. Right. So we were having lunch with Roz. We were coming back from the Lacombe Festival two weeks ago, mm -hmm. which was amazing. Hey, we, we talked about, talk that. about that. No, because it was after. It was a week and a half ago, right? Oh my gosh, I still have you okay. upstairs from that. You can show it next time. Okay. Um. So we said to Roz, wouldn't it be fun? Because Hippie Strings ladies rent a bus when there's big festivals going yeah. on. And they come on to wherever the, they are. And so we said to Roz, wouldn't it be fun to rent a bus? Well, guess what she did? I know. <laughs> She's amazing. She really is super community minded. So the Fiber Nook has rented, I, I think, a really big bus. With a bathroom in it. And it's going to, well, you should stay out of that. Right. You don't want to sit by the bathroom. <laughs> if I'm there, you want to stay closer to the front. Um, so you can go on their website and purchase a seat on the bus. And it's a one day trip to the Calgary Shindig. Yeah. Which is in October. So right after Knit City, we're going to hop on the bus. It's, it's right, right after Thanksgiving. A couple of weeks after Knit yeah. City. But I just think it's going to be super fun. It's going to be a bus full of knitters knitting. Nobody has to, you know, be the driver and not knit. It's great. I, I I'm super excited to go. Yeah. I've never too. been to the Calgary Shindig. I think it's I fun either. to go on those it's community Misha things. And Julia gonna be there? So close after Knit City. I think they do do the Shindig. I would be surprised if they weren't, but yeah. I could also understand them being tired after. Right. So That's really fun. I'm excited. It'll be a day trip and we leave early it's gonna be like I don't know, full day, I would think. Hope yeah. I don't barf. If I'm way at the back, I get like. Take a gravel. I don't want to sit at the front either, though. No, the cool kids sit in the back. I know, no, which means <laughs> no, no. I don't actually. It doesn't matter where I sit so much anymore. If I'm just kind of, I might get woozy, but like, oh Jesus, yeah, like we'll I'm gonna sit at the very front. I promise not to barf on the yarn. I won't barf. Well, how not fun if you're nauseous? Yeah, I never used to be um, motion sick, but when I had my first kid, something switched, and I I used to be able to read like. Looking backwards in a car oh, for I 10 hours. That. I can do that. And I don't even care, though. I, if I feel not, I don't care. It's not barfing, but it's just nauseous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, super fun thoughts. Okay. Um, so I'm very excited about Knit City. I'm so excited about I, I have things in my little, like, mental list that I'm really hoping to at least see and hopefully maybe grab a little. See, for me... And it's, some of them aren't yarn, which is kind of exciting. Really? Yes. Did you know that Buku... Has a booth at Knit City. Buku that we're taking a class with? Yes. So her name is Erwana. Ar You're going to come home with a full set of those things to do no. your own. Oh, I know. Uh, we're taking the punch needle class with her, which I literally am counting the sleeps till. I know. Um, but she's bringing things like her screen printed fabric, I believe. <gasps> Ooh. Anyway. What, is that Saturday? Don't quote Saturday me. afternoon? No, she's got a booth in the marketplace. When are we taking her class? Yes, our class is Saturday afternoon. So someone's running her booth. I guess. Yeah. But she's not teaching the whole time, I don't think, right? Right. That's exciting. So maybe she'll be there Saturday morning. Anyway, um, I really wanted to see something like maybe bring home some fabric. I love that. Yeah. Um, I'm going to have to, if I don't have a pattern in mind, I'm not, and I didn't do this at our last festival, I'm not buying a sweater quantity. Well, we did, you'll have a pattern in mind. Yes. Um, there's some new people that we haven't seen there before which is exciting yeah tannis fiber arts is coming oh the phone i gotta talk about tannis so i gotta pull something up 
Well, I'm pretty sure I know what you're going to pull up. And I was already like, oh my God, I love that. I really want that. Um, so I'm really excited. She's based in Montreal. So I've never actually seen her. I think her yarn is only available online and at Espace Trico. Bonjour, Tennis. <laughs> is she French? I don't know. Oh. I don't think so, but maybe. Anyway, she just happens to be in Montreal. And so you can get her yarn at Espace Trico. Lucky you. Um, but I have ordered it online before. But to see an entire booth of it is going to be a giant happy dance. Yes. So, okay. So this is Tannis's, um Instagram. And okay. she's also a beautiful designer. So this is a new, uh, brand new pattern coming soon, yet to be released, but very, very soon. Hopefully at Knit City. I hope so. You guys, you're not getting a really good picture of this yarn. I don't think she even had a name for it, but it's kind of a gray with speckles, right? I'm knitting this sweater in this yarn. If it's, that's what I'm getting. Well, it's going to be so much like, like this idea, but a different, like worsted instead of. It's chunky yarn. It's chunky? Yes. It is chunky. Look at that. Okay, well, that's exciting. Her speckles are amazing. Um, it's a fam, of course, like lots of dyers. It's a family business, but her husband is a dyer. Um, this colorway that we're talking about is called Metropolis. Okay. And it will be er available early next month. I'm wondering if it's available in Knit City. Maybe. <sighs> I still want to knit her Lifesaver sweater, which is a cardigan. Maybe she'll even have a kit. It's a fingering weight cardigan where and with all these little tiny micro stripes and they're all different colors. Like maybe there's 14 stripes. And so she she does kits with solids and then a bunch of mini skeins. Um, I've wanted to knit that forever. Right? Yeah. She's really, oh she's God. fantastic. So anyway, and that's just off the top of my head. I've got lots of people that Farmer's right. Daughter Fiber are going to be there, which is very exciting. Um, another thing to mention is Sweet Fiber is having, she, they're not going to be at Knit City. They're going to be at 88 Stitches yes. Thursday through Sunday at a pop-up. Yes, there's a pop-up at 88 Stitches. So that's amazing. Starting so at 10 o'clock. Yeah, so there's tons of yarn events happening that weekend. Maybe we shouldn't oh announce God, that it's been until... 22 minutes. That's okay. We were planning on doing this knitting. later. Who wants to see knitting? <laughs> totally. What are you wearing? Oh, me? Whatever. Just this super simple summer sweater. Is that just a... I was just going to say, what is that? Um, so I finished it. It looks super cute. So you just did a three-quarter sleeve. No, I didn't. It oh. <laughs> my arms It was pulled up. My arms are three-quarters long. Um, Tracy... It's split got this hem. Really cute little split hem. But the split hem is a mix of stockinette and ribbing. And it's got a little garter stitch detail on the edges. So it's a little bit different than. I love it. I love it. So this is a pattern by um, Hohi Locatelli. And it's a round neck, worsted weight striped sweater. There's okay. no surprises. So if you've knit a sweater before, You'll breeze through it. Yeah. And if you've never knit a sweater before and you're super nervous, just like everybody is to knit their first sweater, I would totally recommend this as your first sweater. Yeah. It's knit on, like I knit it on five millimeter needles. You did go down to DK though. I use DK weight yarn because it was in my stash. Yeah. But I got almost the same gauge. I did a gauge swatch. Right. And I was half a stitch off Hohe's. Oh, yeah. So to me, that wasn't very much. And I did just accommodate for that in the pattern. So it turned out the size I was kind of hoping for. It's it was really, 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 really fun to Okay, knit. I changed my mind. This is the sweater I'm buying yarn for. It's really great. Like it's, I can't even tell you how much I love it. It's very simple. And then the striping I love because they're kind of in the same color family. I don't think it's super graphic. And I love that I used up stash. And the yarn is... Um, Sweet Georgia in her superwash DK. So it's 100%. That's what I should do. Get sweet Georgia. 100% superwash merino. I've seen this sweater done and it's super tonal. See how like there's still tons of color play even though so I'm So much just... movement in there. Yeah. Okay. I do have one little tip if anybody's interested. I do. Oh, um, I think I know what you're going to say. Yeah. Yeah. You so see. I started the sweater with one ball of the deep cove and one ball of the magpie. And then you split here. Partway through a stripe? Partway through a stripe. Okay. So, and then you continue on with 
the body. Right. So I always do the sleeves last is what I'm saying. So I, I did this sleeve, this stripe of the dark magpie and I still had one more. So I was going to go, go through to that stripe before I did my sleeves. But what I did is when I finished this stripe, I put that ball of yarn to the side so that I could continue with it when I went back to the sleeve so that yes. it was the same because there's a lot of variation because you are like right next to it. And it's, if it's not it's the same, right next. so yeah. if I had finished this stripe and run, and I would have run out for sure, the ball yeah. would have been done and then joined another ball here. I mean, it might've looked weird. So that was just what I had in the back of my mind. I just put it to the side and sort of knew that that was my okay. sweater yarn. So I just had my an sleeve yarn epiphany what? with you is doing that sweet what? fiber. No, sweet Georgia, that sweater. I am getting sweet Georgia worsted for this sweater at oh Knit my City. Gosh, there's so many good colors too. Sweet Georgia yarn is and absolutely beautiful. She also has a DK that's got silk in it. And oh. I think she's releasing one or has released one. Is it called BFL silk or something? Yeah. But her one that she had last year. That was like a merino silk something combo. It would make the most amazing sweater. And Jody DK, this is, I just think it's. That's plumper than a DK. Do you no? think? Do you think? Well, maybe I, once I washed it. Um, It bloomed. Yeah. Yeah. It's so beautiful. I love it. I love it. I so love it. I'm picturing. I would like to knit another, knit another one. I agree. Even in just like solid color. Yeah. Like if it's your first sweater and you don't want to screw around with counting stripes is that or, what you had to do well you just count the rows and it's very it's not difficult right but if you uh, just want to take one more thing off your plate mm -hmm. and knit it in a solid color you can absolutely do that um i'm actually picturing each stripe different color i love that idea okay good love that idea yeah 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 that's super fun yeah um oh yeah okay that's it yeah so i love this sweater i would totally recommend it i think to any any knitter oh it's so beautiful and it was really really simple and it if you're kind of a speedy knitter it's one of those ones you could really crank out fast which is a very big thing for me okay so last time we podcasted remember i was like i haven't been knitting yes or whatever yes um, I did find my mojo. I have a bit of knitting. Good for you. Right? Where was it hiding? It was hiding in the in the pages of the Owen sweater pattern. Good. Yeah. And under the ball. Color bands. work is super stimulating. Oh, you guys, if I can just do color work yokes and then pass the sweater to be finished. Right. There is something. Wouldn't that be amazing to have a best friend that was all like all she wanted to do was stocking at or he like wanted Kobe's to do stocking. Right. So you do the fun stuff and then later if they don't like picking up the sleeves and doing the underarm and stuff like whatever you could do that but yes yeah, someone that just loves stocking it i could, could do yoke and sleeves someone could do the body right please raise your hand if that's something oh Is that you? yes you know there's somebody out there that would do that for you no but some people just say yeah i'll do it but don't want to there are some people like the lady that we met in texas she loves knitting she doesn't like to wear or use yes. any of her knitting yes Right? Yes. Yeah, she never knits for herself. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's a, you do also need a stockinette pattern as a knitter. You need something that you can take to knit night or You're right. just relax with where you don't have to worry about charts or cables or whatever. Yeah. Um, but I get it. Lots of times you just think, oh my God, now I've got a miles and miles of stockinette. And to be honest, if you just put your work in for a week, it's done. Let me tell you, I've been a monogamous knitter lately. Doesn't it feel good? That is how you get shit done, people. Right, Tracy? Yes. How many sweaters have you started and that are in your whips? Quite a few. I only have one that's... I know. I know. I, I think was... you might be lying, but... No. Whatever. I'm thinking this morning, I've actually finished two sweaters lately, and my I tried my um, floozy on, and it's, it's a 3.5 millimeter needle. So we're talking... We, I still have a lot of work to do on it, but it's past, it's six or seven inches past here. So I still have another like six inches to go before I do some ribbing and then sleeves. But I have a new cast on and oh. I have that. And those are the two I'm going to work on. I really want to wear my floozy. It's so red. It's fingering weight. Oh, it's yeah. the bluest, most beautiful red. Don't you think it'd be perfect for Christmas and holiday yes. time? It's got to get done, Jody. I think I would knit a floozy, but go up to a worsted or DK. Three seven. I can't do a three seven five. Let me tell you. <gasps> Who's here? What? Is that the dogs? 
That's probably the dogs trying to get out. God, okay, guess trying to kill last us. time Ellie, they came down here, and like I said, Ellie's not normally down here. She went and peed in Jackson's room. That's kind of funny. <laughs> I think it's kind well, of because she was just outside. She doesn't pee in the house ever. She so was it excited. was like, what's going on here? It's like me. It was an excited pee, probably. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Jackson, like when you jump on the trampoline. Oops, I can't um, oh, even no. get. Can't. It's like gush. gush. Yeah. Years ago, I took this boxing class, and to start to warm up, it was like um, jumping rope. No, I always had to like disappear and go to the bathroom. Do you know what I would have to do? I'd have to, not kidding, wear a lady depends. I know. I know. There's no shame in that. No. It's that But or... it was like, oh my God, really? This is really now? This is the point I'm at? Anyway, so the dogs are up in their, like in the porch area. Whatever, okay. So. so they're. I don't think we're, I don't out. think there's anybody up there. But Georgia is home today. So she's. Georgia! She's got a migraine actually. Oh, shoot. I so she got up and took some medication and went back to bed. So it Fucking happens. Shitty. It is bad. She this kind of weather with the the barometric low pressure. pressure is something that always seems to affect her. So anyway, is, that was my that was my fo. What do you have for fos? I'm wondering if can she take something ahead of time? She takes something every day, oh. and it has helped a lot. Good. Let me tell you, this whole migraine thing is crazy. It's different for everybody. And there's so many things that affect it, and I wish there was a quick fix. I hope she outgrows it. I really hope yeah. she does. It's been the last three years that she's had to deal with it. And she's much better, but it's still debilitating sometimes. Some people are have really to, have a hard time. A couple of times I have, I don't even know if it's a migraine, massive headache where you have to lay still in bed. Yeah, that's that's a migraine. And it's so sore. Yeah. Yeah, thank God it's only happened a yes, few times. Yes, you're lucky. Okay, knitting. Jody, this color is like, that's the color. Do you guys recognize it? This is my JoJo hat. It's beautiful. So, dear Aunt Linda yes. requested um, a chunky knit hat. Actually, thank goodness, because she said, I'll drop yarn off. I said, what color? She said, no, no, I'll drop yarn off. And so I was thinking, what if she bought fingering? Right. I could just hold it double, right? It's okay. But what she did is send me Estelle Chunky. Yeah, it's a nice yarn. It is. Um, it's a combination of acrylic and wool, and it was beautiful to work it with. It is super, super. It's one of those awesome, affordable yarns, and it's one that you can put in the washing machine and yeah. baby blankets, and it's very, very easy to care for. Acrylic, wool, and nylon. Yeah. It's a great, it's a great one. And so is this only one skein you used? Yeah. Look how much I've left. Oh, you've got tons left. So you can make a giant pom-pom. You could She's do that. She's not a pom-pom girl. No, but like if you really yes. were buying one skein, you could do probably two kids hats out of one skein or, or even an adult large. Right. And if I, if I got off my butt, what I'd love to do is knit a worsted, give the pattern an update with a worsted just gonna say. or... Chunky. You, are you going to write this so that give it a pattern update? That's a great idea. Know. You know what I like doing now? I've been like one by one rib and then do a garter, a pearl bump. That's really nice. It gives it a, a great uh, border. I've had the worst heartburn for like days. Why? I'm eating compliments, like heartburn stuff, like it's a Tic Tac. What have you changed in your diet? I don't know. I've been eating some peanut butter ice cream. That could do it. Yeah, that'll do it. Oh and then God, like right before bed and then I lay down. Hagen dawes it's ridiculous. Anyway, like it's so bad. I just dig it out of the peanut butter, frozen peanut butter. That's what I do. Out of the chocolate ice cream. And like the salty of the peanut butter, it's just ridiculous. And then I throw the half away that's melted after I've eaten it all. <laughs> so this was really fun. Jody, I mentioned it's beautiful. It was done for last time and I forgot to bring it. So your JoJo hat pattern is your very first pattern you ever published and it's yeah. on Ravelry and it's DK. Yes, it is DK. And it's beautiful. You know what? What the hell happened to my hat? I knit that, and I think Jackson loved it, and I gave it to him. Oh, well, there you go. I still have another ball of that yarn. I'm going to make myself one. Look how beautiful that is. Right? And you guys, this pattern, it's just, it's a three-row repeat, and it just shifts over one every time. So this is potato chippy. Watch a But movie. look how beautiful it is. Like, it really, I love Jody with the bigger yarn. To show that texture. Me like, too. it looks really great. And then I really nailed, sorry. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes. Let me pat you. No, it's true though, Jody. 
Sometimes the crown isn't the easiest to work. It doesn't work out perfectly. I I remember doing this crown so many. I had little doilies worth of. Really? Yeah, because I wanted it to work right. Like, where was your decrease? But it makes such a difference. I love, to me, when you knit a hat and it's got this gorgeous crown. Like, it just follows in pattern. Then you think to yourself, oh, this is a good pattern. This is a yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it makes a difference. Actually, I'm going to show you the crown of this new one that I did too. I feel like I like good. I love the crown on that one. So this is I'm going to be dropped off at Aunt Linda's this week. That's exciting. She'll love it. She is a everyday dog walker, 365 days a she year. She's no more dogs. Okay. Her dogs died. Chucky. Okay, well she just walks herself then. Um, she uh, hasn't. Had... But she does go walking every day. Yeah. Last year I knit her a hat too, so she wanted. Yeah. I love that we're able to do that. Well, this took an evening. It's chunky. Yeah. Right? Like three hours yeah. and it's done. Yeah. So that was a pleasure to knit. It is a really fun when somebody loves hey. things like that. I am so happy to, like if somebody said, would you knit me a hat? Like I love knitting and I would really treasure a hand knit hat. Family member. I Let's get it right. Not everyone. not run to the stash fast enough. Yes. Because I, I think hats are super useful and that. It's not that big of a deal. Like, they don't have to wear it a lot. Do you know what I mean? It's not like you've spent a, a time knitting them a sweater. Right. And then you get all pissed when they don't wear it. I agree. Yeah. Hats are great. Hats are one of those things. I will. I, I'm, hat is my sock. Yeah. Right? I, yeah. I always have a hat on the needles. Yeah. And you wear them so much. Every day. Oh, yeah. my God. Praise Lord. It's hat <laughs> season coming up. <laughs> I've been it's waiting. It's hat season today. It is. I actually, I saw a couple of ladies, some elderly ladies walking in the neighborhood yesterday in the morning with hats. Really? Yes. And for me, that's mittens too. Mittens? I'm Literally. Not as much of a mitten. It has been in my brain. I should, I should knit a new mitten. I should make a new pair of mittens. Can you do color work and then give, gift them to me for Christmas? Yes, for sure. Okay. Okay. okay so. So that was really fun. Yeah. What's, so we both what else have, have you got? Um, what else have we been working knitting. on? Okay, here's something I had last time. This is another FO. But it's not knitting. And I don't remember if I showed it. I kind of don't think I did. I don't think you did either. Because I made it really close to Christmas. I remember it was like, I picked it up Christmas Eve for a gift mm. from the quilters. So, and then still had to do the edging? Yes, then I still had to do the binding. I think I actually picked it up on the 23rd. And finished. That's, and then you're finished always it, like that. Finished it. Um, which is way too tight of a timeline for me. So I did learn to quilt last year. And I, I loved it. But then I was like, what do you make? What do you make? Mm -hmm. You know, there's all this cutting. Well, I discovered these jelly rolls, which are, if you, know, if you don't know what they are, they're strips, pre-cut strips of fabric. And they're usually mixed colors. And it comes in this really cool pinwheel. And you just think, oh my God, what am I going to make with that? Well, I was on Amazon and I saw this book. <laughs> jelly you Roll make, you Quilts in a Weekend. Was that a game changer, finding a jelly roll? Finding what to do with jelly rolls rather than well, cutting fabric? Well, I just fabric? really love stripey things. Yeah. So it's pre-cut and, and usually coordinated for you. And mm -hmm. you just think, oh my God, I can make so many fun things out of this. So I really like this book and it's got some fun and easy designs. You still have tons of cutting to do. But, I mean, I really love this triangle-y one. <gasps> Ooh, I do love that. I love the back See, one, See, you've too. got all these strips that make that, and then you've got just a background color. Um, so I decided... Mom really seemed to like <gasps> the quilt. Yeah, right? Just it's crazy super fun. fun it's squares. really fun. I enjoy... It's so crazy quilting. You just cut all these little squares. Like, cut and cut and cut, and then you sew it all back together into a giant piece. Did you know you can get minky sewed to the back? Um, yeah, I, this is what I did for yours. Oh, you're right. <laughs> I use it almost every day, you guys, sitting in my chair. But it is not as easy to quilt when those yes. two are together. It's not as easy. Yeah. But it's so it's soft. worth it. The next one I want to make for myself is this bee, <gasps> this hexagon. Is that made out of a jelly roll? These are made out of, like, these, all the hexagons are strips that you've made together. And then you as cut jelly, it? jelly rolls. Tracy. So I'm totally going to make that one for myself. But last Christmas, I bought a jelly roll of Batik neutrals. Because mom, mom is neutrals. Like, she would like everything black. black. shade of beige. Black. How many blacks can you get? So I bought this set of this jelly roll that was all Batik fabric. And I made just this one. 
you get a background fabric and you do your strips kind of all different lengths. You cut the back. You cut the gorgeous. You cut the background fabric different lengths on either end. Okay. So it kind of looks like a puzzle, but really it's all a bunch of little rectangles. And I just think it turned out really, really well. I and I, I didn't know how to do the um, quilting on the top. So I took it to a local lady named Heather, who's the bomb. Um, it's so beautiful. Yeah. I've done that quilting top part with my machine. You really benefit from it's a long arm. It's a ton of work. It's because then you're work. folding it and squishing it. I this wanted to do it myself. I just did. I did not much. know how to do that. So anyway, this is my other fo, and I wanted to kind of show it because I've in my brain I feel like I would love to do another quilt soon. But questione. Yeah. Can you make these kind of quilts squishier? Like oh sure, there's batting in the middle there's a middle layer so you chose not to make this squishier well i didn't want to make it super heavy and yeah. hot for her i've knitted i've knitted mama blanket which is really yes. hot and then i don't know i, I just wanted to i just don't know quilting you like, can this has got a cotton um what's it called lining. batting so this is the pattern that i use Ooh, i love that so for myself i would do something a lot more colorful but I really love the way these neutrals all turned out. It's called Skyline. This pattern. Oh, that's a lot of Isn't it pretty? Yeah. It's actually this Just is, straight sewing. It is straight sewing, and this one is not difficult at all. And then I think I would have would have done Jody is next time I would do flannel on the back. That's really common oh. for people to do yeah. pre washed like wash your flannel, and then it makes it cozier. Yeah. I love the weight. I mean, it's nice to be, you could double it if you're cool, colder. Yeah. It's really just like a, you know, if you're sitting on the couch reading or whatever, watching a movie, they're taking it to Arizona. Aren't you tempted to make a coverlet for your bed? Oh yeah. I love it. I, Wouldn't that be beautiful? Yes. And, but Jody, honestly, I want to redo, your bedroom? reorganize my basement because there's tons of room down here that yeah. does not get used and I want to, to do that. So anyway, I just thought what I would show that. What is in this room right here behind us? Uh, storage. Like, do you feel like? Like shelves, like small? built in. Is oh, it, it can't change. It oh, can't okay. change. Like, like it's you got your, it's got um, Christmas stuff and suitcases and. Like you couldn't put that stuff anywhere else. No, I need that storage space. Yeah. But I've got all of this that's never used. Never. Okay, what if you like like physically built a wall here for this to be your craft room you put a couch along here and the tv along this wall yeah i think there's lots we could do i'm okay to even just leave it open but change all kinds of stuff Re repaint it and get some things organized let me this tell you this giant couch does not need to be down here yeah so well when you get rid of the couch i'll buy it from you why you could just have it it's what cute. do you need it for the base it's a great one i don't know maybe it's too big for the basement but whatever. it's a great couch um when I actually turned one of the bedrooms upstairs, because we've got a four bedroom bungalow, when I turned one of those spaces into my space where you could close the door, it was a complete yeah. change. Yeah. But you have a business right. doing that stuff. Right. I just want it for fun. But I'm in there for but fun. But I would love too. to like have it's... a beautiful, like a big table set up where I could, you know, cut quilts or yes. you know you can block knits or i in my brain i see you need I a big it. work table you do a multi-purpose work table yeah yeah so okay you want to talk about my coffee choice this morning i do let me hear so it. i make a latte every morning and i use that my espresso machine and i make two long draw espresso so there's about this much espresso in this cup and then i just you fill have it two with... shots of espresso in the morning oh yeah every day Jesus. That's it. For that's it. Once a day. That's it. Hardcore. But this one is I used almond milk. Tell me what you thought. I'm I lo I'm totally fine with it. It tastes a little bit different, but once you add all that coffee, to me it's not a big deal. The difference is not yeah. a big deal. Um and I it's the only milk I ever drink is this skim milk in my latte. Right. So so I we, just thought, you know what? I should try it. I should yeah. try it. And um, I actually quite love it. I don't like it by itself. <laughs> I don't mind the nuttiness in it. Yeah, right. I don't want to drink like the steamed almond milk. Yeah. I took a sip and I was like, it smells like pablum. Yeah. Like baby cereal. Ugh. Jordan brought home milk made from oatmeal, like oat milk. Yeah. Disgusting. It is? Well, because like it was good. warm. Room to okay, but add, I'm not going to drink this by itself. 
But if I was going to, if I put it in a smoothie or I put it in something yes. else, that, Good that for to you. me, it's an ingredient. It's not just a beverage by yeah. itself. Let me tell you, love it. I will continue oh. to drink this. Do you take supplements? You should be taking your... Uh, I take a multivitamin. You're post-menopausal. You no, I'm not. Post? That means I've been through it all already? Once you're one year past missing your period. No, that means you're in menopause, not post-menopause. There's peri, pre, like menopause post means like you've been through everything i mean i'm happy if i've been through everything that's great it was easy but i don't think so yes when you're a year done when you're a year done your period you're done menopause they say i don't think that's right i don't think it's right either but whatever <laughs> that doesn't Anyways, make sense have calcium you should be do you have that in your daily yeah it's in the i take a women's okay. multi specifically women's okay. multivitamin that's I good for vag health i hate taking all those pills i know so much. You know what I started? I started my skin pills, you guys. Your psoriasis meds. Yeah. Had, have, are you having any side effects or no? No, but this spot's kind of like gone all of a sudden almost. The guy? So we were on an airplane and this man turned around. He'd heard us talking about psoriasis and he recommended something and you went to your doctor and they said, sure, we'll try. It's serious medicine. It's chemotherapy. This guy... He said he was covered in psoriasis yeah. and you would never have known. His skin is clear. He had nothing. Yeah. This one I've started taking, um, it only works in 40% of patients. There's several different oral medications you could take. Any, so we'll see. Well, whether it works or worth not. Worth a try. No, very, very few side effects. Great. Very, very few side effects. Okay, yeah. I have a hat to try. Jody. To show you. So now we're into whips. No. FO. Oh, we're still in FOs. We've been cranking it out, people. So this is going to be my... Jody. No I'll write this after Knit City. I don't feel like doing it right now. I just wanted really long, stretched out, easy cables. Yeah, it's beautiful. Okay, but this is what I was talking about for a crown. That's a really beautiful hat. Very classy. See, each oh, section went down. Each section goes down to like a pointy triangle. Yeah, It keeps decreasing. Instead of decreasing... Looks like a flower or a star or something. Because there's um, six stitches here, instead of just decreasing at the beginning of each one, I decreased um, slip, slip, knit, and then knit two together. So instead of just slow, like you're... It's like coming into a point, right? I know, and we get so excited about that stuff. Right? I love that. Yes. It worked it's out beautiful. so nice. Tell me about the yarn, because that's gorgeous. Okay, you guys, I got this at our pop-up. It's um, Aaron Tweed. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. It's so soft. I actually knit okay, it. I love this, Jody. I knit it to a worsted. You knit it a nice, well, it looks great. Yeah. Now, that'll make it a cozy, warm hat. Right. And okay, it's not even too dense. It's Aaron weight. And it's 85% um, merino and 15% nep. And um, it's Red Fox Fibers. Oh, nice. She's local. She's local to us. She had a pop-up store in uh, Fiber Nook a few weeks ago. Okay, this is really nice. And you know what, you guys? Yes, there's a difference between Aran and Worsted, but it's not a giant difference. Right. I was able to knit this without it being too dense. It's kind of like DK and Sport. Like... They're pretty close. I feel like you can you can sort of play around with them to get different gauges. Right. How many meters are on that ball? Like 180 for 100 grams? 183 yards. 183 yards. So it's only like 170. So it's definitely a, it's definitely it is quite the yardage different. of a of it's a quite different. Um. But plenty for a hat. Yeah, and then don't you love when? Yes. Right? Yes. Your cable so much. like that. I did a twisted so two much. by two. Oh, that's really pretty, Jode. Yeah, I love this. I love it too. So that'll be coming I love soon. It. it just fits. Like I tried it on Shane's head. And because there's pearls in between the cables, well, it's it lots just, of ribbing, right? It just hugs your head. I love it. Thank you. Aaron, wait. But you could certainly but do it if you have a skein of if you have a skein of worsted at home, do it anyway. I agree. Yeah, I agree. Do it anyway. Give it a try. Yeah. <gasps> Look at that. I do love it. Okay, I'm such a tweed fan. I love tweed. Do you know this might be my first tweed knit? I love it. It's so classic, and yeah. I love it. Red Fox fibers. She has some beautiful. So tweed. she was at the Lacombe Fiber Festival, and. We really wanted to go in her booth, but it was packed. 
Yeah. And it was sort of had a little narrow entrance and we never even got a chance to go in. It was my plan to go in. Me but too. she had lots of shoppers. And she had tons of yarn. Yeah. I wonder if she's going to be in Knit City. That's an excellent question. I really, really wanted to go. I mean, so we haven't even talked about Lacombe Fiber Festival. We had so much fun. That was a great yeah. festival. Um, and just over an hour away. It was in guys, a beautiful venue. Tons of vendors. It was a giant, well, they called it a memorial center or something. So it was a town building that was attached yeah. to the public library. Like it was a building that was, had a lot of money put into building yes. it. It was beautiful. There was some bodies there for viewing. It was <laughs> not quite <laughs> that kind of memorial. Yes, it was. We were attached. It was. Huh? Like it was attached to a church. Wasn't it? Well, I only saw the public library. I feel like you're making shit up. It had a big cross on it. Okay, so there was a church across the street. Remember oh, right okay. where we parked? I'm actually no idea Jody's what I'm talking about. Jody's making stuff up again. There was no bodies. I don't know. There were definitely no bodies, but it was a really nice venue. It was really brightly lit. Yes. And all the vendors had lots of space, and there were a lot of people there. I was... I shouldn't have been surprised. There was a lot of people there, you guys. Yeah, and, it, and vendors that I had never seen before. So next time, I will... I feel so, all that yarn's been put away. Like, I got to go find it. I, we found really fun, cool stuff. Yeah, we did. You did. I bought one, two skeins, one skein of yarn. Well, oh Wool Baron. No... Wool Baron sucked me in with her, like, I know. crushed rosette color, which I love. That is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I is can't Is she going to be a vendor at Knit City? No. I don't know. Probably, I don't know. I don't know that information. Anyway. So okay. loved, loved the Lacombe Fiber Festival. What else have you got to show me? What else have I got to show you? I only have sock talk. Sock talk. I have one more whip. Okay, show me. And I have a whole lot of sock talk. Good. Um, this was... <gasps> this is something I love. I've showed this before, but now I'm knitting it into something because it's that great. Things this created equal is amazing. Um, it's her colorway neon speckled. Do you guys remember I knit socks in this and Can how we... amazing it was? Look at the base color on it, though. Yeah. Like, right? Oh, maybe you didn't want to show yeah. this yet. Sorry. Um, but look how creamy and beautiful. Yeah. Oh. There are some colorways that you're just like, I want knit to knit everything in that one colorway. Everything. Like, and it's like, amazing. We've seen a lot of gray and speckles, yes. which we totally love. Yes. But you get this different feel from this kind of warm, I don't know, what do you call this? Kind of warm, creamy color. I agree. But her speckle color choice it's is stunning. the best. Oh my God, I can't even. It's kind of like the colors of Lifesavers. Yeah, right? That's a really Like good... a neon-y version of the Lifesaver candies on this yeah. classic, <sighs> warm... I okay, love, so love this color. Heather, and I don't have any of it. And Heather, I don't know what, what's up with that. Heather, who is Things Created Equal. Yes. Um, so oh this is what you bought at the Lacombe, Lacombe? She gave me these two DK skeins because I traded her for patterns. She oh, was good. kidding my hat. Oh, great. And then I, this is the one I bought. She's kidding the hat you're making out of this? No, she kit that striped... Oh, the Sweat. Harvest Crown, yes. Okay, so this, you guys, um, this has got, it's not quite seed stitch because it's knit two, purl two, knit two, and then purl two, knit two, purl two, like opposite. Is that kind of, it's, it's an kind offset of like, rib. Right, so in yeah. the in between there. And then a I've garter got, rib, kind yeah. of maybe, right? Yeah. Yeah. And it's then I've beautiful. got these little cables in between. It's gorgeous. Kind of simple, but. But I don't know why I'm feeling cable-y. It's kind oh, of that time autumn. Of year, Are you kidding? Right? And I love texture. Texture, texture, yeah. texture. Like that's right up my, that's my jam right yeah. there. Yeah. So I wanted to have that fun little bit of texture in between rather than just the pearls, like in the other one, which I, is pretty. A lot of people don't like pearling. I love, love the way a pearl looks. You know, I think I used to be in that camp. Yeah. I'm not in that camp anymore. Me either. Because pearls, what would you, pearls? are b beautiful yeah in patterns like this and like i feel it, like the more you do them the less of a hassle they are to do right yeah I agree. right like don't just knit everything do some pearls once in a while oh my god i love that. shake things up so this will also beautiful be a job. hat this will be on task i just needed 
to finish some stuff before Knit City. And I mean, it's just the perfect thing with, I know we're sort of coming into gift knitting season. Uh, and you really can just whip one of these out in no time. So this is her bulky. Oh my gosh, this color kills me. Um, and I did buy her bulky at the, <gasps> what was it called again? The make something. Anyway, Maker's whatever. Market. Yeah, make her something. This was another little market we went to. In Ledoux. I bought two skeins of this, and it's got plans as well. And this is her um, Lichen Blossoms colorway. Okay, so. What? I, I can't even tell you how gorgeous this colorway is. This? Yes. Yeah. I just got four new fabrics arrived yesterday, all in her. Did you? Tracy, this is one of them. <gasps> I know. I know. I saw it, and I was like, well. I need, I just need it. I will and make so, you a bag. And I bought yes. two, I bought two. So I imagine a hat and, and some kind of mitts, whether they're fingerless mitts or, but the colors to me, I mean, she just did such a good job with the colors and it's got little black speckles, yeah. which to me is like, yeah, that special something. Like when you're, you know, eating chocolate and it has a little bit of salt, it's just like takes it through. Like to me, black speckles just take it Brings over it the top. Um, I had talked originally about it when I first did my sock. I thought um, the speckles weren't as even through the whole thing right. as I thought maybe they could have been. And that can happen in certain skeins. Uh, right. <clears throat> She's now speckling different. Oh. This hat, you can see the yarn as it's wound, how evenly dispersed see, the speckles are. there you go, are. right? I mean, that's hand-dyed yarn. Every skein is different. Do you see like a like a crazy colored pom-pom or a natural kind of giant pom-pom well i mean the thing is you know what i love i love those snap-on ones so you don't have to choose strap-on ones strap-on pom-poms okay. <laughs> i haven't seen any of those um do i see that i actually may even see like a charcoal gray okay or one of those warm fox colored ones yeah Faux. And let me tell you, I've been collecting pom-poms like they're going out of style. Did you use these needles? What happened to my pom-poms? You guys, I'm so disorganized. I haven't yet. Okay, let's not talk about them. I'll well, you, tell me what you think. Incredible. Okay, people have recommended them when they saw us talk about So these are the Addy Rocket Squared, is what they're called. Yeah. Um, and it's a new, new thing that Addy has launched. And it's squared and textured. And it's, I think, meant to make perfect stitches, but it's also meant to be really easy on your hands. Yeah, there's so there's uh, not one pressure point with just a round needle. It's it, I, Although it's you guys are really small service, that sounds a little silly. Yeah. It is a thing. I should... Oh, it really is. And especially yeah. when we spend hours doing yeah. this repetitive movement, um, I should really do that today. I've been really Tracy, busy. I haven't had a chance to... The slickness of this needle, I'm not kidding you, is like no other. Jody, Addy is the to me the fastest needle. If only if someone gave me these a whole set, it's the only thing I would knit with. Yeah, they're that beautiful. Yeah, they I can't really wait are. for you to try it. Well, I I know I'm gonna love. I know yeah. I'm gonna love it. But I think it's really interesting that changing that shape mm -hmm. is giving a lot of a lot of people are really loving. Well, I don't that have effect. an issue. Like I don't feel like it's ergonomically whatever. But it has to be good. It might, it might be. It's not bad, but the slick knit, it's a yeah. beautiful needle. So the Rockets, that, like those were the first knitting needles I ever used. Mm -hmm. And I still, I'm, I find the cord a little bit wonky after time. Sometimes, like yeah. I feel like it gets kind of bent and I don't have good luck with the cord sometimes. But let me tell you, by far my favorite finish on a needle and yeah. the tips and everything. I love Addy needles. It's so beautiful. Yeah. So I'm glad that you you knit that so fast with your new needle. I do have another whip. What? Should I keep talking. Oh, I have another whip too. Good, you go. Okay. Oh my God, you reminded me. I feel very disorganized today. Is this the sweater you're why. starting? Maybe. See, it's in my giant bag. I have six full skeins of wound yarn yeah. in here. Six yarn cakes. Yes. It is and a biggie. It's, it's no problem, people. Um. Okay, I gotta see what you're doing. Okay, so there is a new pattern coming out very soon. And I mean, I saw it on Instagram. Um, this is Jill Zielinski's. She's doing a round 
yoke striped sweater top down sweater yeah um and she kept showing it and i was like oh my gosh i can't wait for that thing to come out i cannot wait and she was actually using the yarn that i had bought um as sort of a souvenir when we went to wool and honey i felt a sweater knit in plucky knitter beauregard dk you bitch you're knitting this whole sweater in that the whole <gasps> the whole sweater now let me tell you this is a splurge this yarn is a splurge i mean one skein would make an incredible hat or mittens or whatever but i did buy a sweater quantity of this yarn um it is 60 percent yak 40 percent cashmere what and a hundred percent amazing hundred percent i want to <laughs> rub my naked body all over it um it is it is amazing and i really i do feel like kind of a fiber nerd i love trying new to me bases so that's what i'm gonna do so jill so i bought a sweater quantity and a shawl i worth. can't tell you the i don't get envious i don't i love what i have i am so envious of no this. Joey, yes in the time time you can order whatever you want so my sweater was going to be a color work sweater using this this is called Bohemian Blue. It was actually in my Beach Days wrap, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Um, but colors dye, they look differently on different bases. Can you it's... see my mouth? Like, I cannot believe how beautiful this is. <laughs> I'm just going to wipe that drool. Yes! Um, anyway, it's still the stunning, like, dark, dark, dark peacocky blue. You can see the teal you in it. Cocky. You just like when I say that. Um, and then I was going to add, um, this is called Zinc Oxide super yellow green so i was gonna have color work in that and color work did you have a sweater in mind yeah oh i did and that's I, okay i'll sorry, knit it again i've zoned out did you say what sweater you were having no, in mind okay. no it was an all over color work sweater okay and it was gonna have these colors um anyway and so i had ordered this color and this color, I guess. You one have of them was to stop. But so that shit out of your bag. There we go. <laughs> and then I had two colors in a shawl. This is royal icing, and this is oh, I don't know. I'm just gonna be away. steel my heart. Be steel my heart. So a gray and kind of like this awesome mauvey lavendery pink. Look how gorgeously large. Isn't these that balls pretty? Are. Oh, they're yes. gigantic. Um, which. You know so anyway I, I this sweater is a main color and it's got five stripes so I swatched yesterday and I guess what I'm doing this weekend I can't wait nothing but knitting on this I hope not <laughs> um, that's my plan I do have lots of laundry to okay, do so but I don't care if so I much message about Haley and Amy how quick do you think I can have Beauregard? Like, do you think they'll FedEx me? I don't know. But let me tell you, I'm, I am I felt they had an Anilchik Swancho and they had something else as a sample at Will and Honey when Plucky it Knitter brought it. Stunning. It felt like the softest thing oh. I'd ever, ever, ever felt. And the colors were so beautiful. So I just, I was overwhelmed. I didn't know what colors to get and they didn't have all the colors there, of course, but I knew I had it in my brain. I have to knit with this stuff. So, um, Jill very generously, you the know, pattern's we, not even finished. You we guys offered I feel so to lucky. test and by test, test knit it, it, I, I have mean, to say I'm a, no, I told her and by I'm going to knit. It. I just mean, I need, I want the pattern early. It's funny. I messaged her. I was like, so when is this coming? She said, it's really funny. I'm sending Jody the pattern. Do you want it? I was like, yes, I want the pattern. So, and now that I've, you know, swatched and got gauge and now I'm ready to roll, that's, that's my plan. Is that the actual number of, no, that's not the number of rows in between. Each no, one. Okay. I just wanted to do a little roadmap for my stripes. And I mean, if I'm being honest, I may not have picked these color, all of these colors. I may have done something a little bit different, but I love, I love it. And I sent the, I sent the Instagram post, you know, as a DM to our friend and I said I think this is my next cast on and she said oh that's so you like you said that <laughs> Amber yeah she goes that's so you just those stripes so I I have to say I love it I can't wait I, I'm the pattern looks amazing I've read through it but I I'm excited to get cast on do you on. know they're waiting for their Beauregard DK 
Like shipment, their base? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to knit a lot more things in this because I'm not going to need full skeins. So I'll need I'll knit some color work hats, right? Like I'm I only need one stripe in this whole thing. I'm still going to have tons of yarn to do other things. Right? So if you need a stripe of any of these colors, just let me know. Oh my god, it's ridiculous. You know what? I haven't been this excited to cast on a project. I love everything that I cast on, but this makes me feel a little bit giddy. I just love the colors so much. I know I will wear the heck out of it. Like I love the pink and green and blue together. I'm so what jealous. colors would you knit, do you think? Those! Really? Yes. No, you wouldn't. Yes, I would. Well, I love them. Oh. So anyway, it's super cute, right? And so she's got these pearl bumps as a design feature, which I love. So I think that's nice to go light, dark, light, dark, where you can really see see that contrast when you do that row. I agree. Yeah. So Jill's a beautiful designer. And uh, this was a pattern that I was considering. When you look up on Ravelry, when you look up this yarn, there's not a ton of patterns that pop up. And that's sort of what I do with a new yarn. Okay, I'm gonna pull up this sweater. Um, I'm knitting the Owen sweater by Jill Zielinski. It's gorgeous. Jody. Gorgeous. Okay, so I'm going to look up uh, Peppers and Pearls, who is Haley's uh, Instagram from oh, yes. Pearls, Pearls, Pearls and, Pepper? and Pepper. Is her dog named Pepper? No, I think she's an amazing cook. Is her dog's name Pepper? I don't know. It's not she actually. loves to cook. Yeah. I need is. I need someone like that in my life. Just waiting for... Okay. I like good food, but I'm not so excited about getting getting in the kitchen i'm just waiting for it to load so i see this yeah super fun and like combo. a light turn down your yeah it's a light pearl oh yeah pearly gray she's using morticia she's using iced audrey she's, and you can't see it but she uses a super bright orange it's uh they're red orange it's henley it's the ready orange. It's it like a so tomato. Beautiful. Yes. Super beautiful. So then I oh, cast it on. Jody. This is so you, the colors. Do you think? Yes. Don't you think? I, yeah. Tell me all about it. So I'm using. That blue is This is the yarn I'm amazing. using. Amazing. I ordered. Remember I told you. So I, this is what you showed us last time. The snug worsted. I ordered a shitload. Did I show the fall palette last time? Yes, yeah. I did. Okay. So this is. And I was just as jealous. Really? Yes. Are you kidding? You can have whatever you want. <laughs> Are you going to say that about your Beauregard? No. <laughs> yes. Anything <laughs> left over you can have. I hardly need anything. I'll have stripes. ordered it by then. I'll be done the stripes this weekend. <laughs> is there enough for two stripes? Yes. Jody, I'm not kidding. We like I was, sweaters. like I was thinking of adding some stripes on the cup or something. Okay, so because... here's the thing: I have a dove gray in Beauregard. Would you rather that for any of the stripes? Oh, I have two, and I only needed one. Wow, I think you should keep it for your thing. Anyway, look, I am the choice. That's beautiful. So what I have done is I've used an extra color. Normally, it only calls for three and a main i'm doing four and a main i love that so where did you change the pattern a little bit i don't know actually because because you didn't think about no this is what happened Haley said oh jill did me a chart in my colors you should ask jill for the chart so i did ask <laughs> jill for the chart and so this chart is five colors don't show the chart yeah. this chart has my colors in it okay so here's my colors Oh, she did a custom chart. She did a custom chart for Haley because she's a princess. That's really nice. No, I'm just No, teasing. because they're... Right? Yeah. Because then you can visualize as you're looking at the chart course, the color that you're of doing. Of course. Wow, that's great. So... I uh, love this. What's this? Yeah. Oh, look at those. Yeah, I, I'm still totally going to knit this one. I love it. So I'm just about... I just have... Um, I'm just through that about, I just have this little red detail to do down here and then I'm going to split for sleeves. I have gone up to worsted. It's a DK pattern. Okay. And Haley did the same because I wanted a little bit oversized. Oh, because you just wanted to knit it faster. That's very true. <laughs> but I'm knitting a small, I did a swatch. I did my math. I'm doing the large size in a higher needle with a thicker yarn and I'm getting very close to gauge. So you're getting a large and what size needle are you using? 
um, 5.5. Okay. Well, so, for the color work and then 5 millimeter for right. the body probably. Yeah, I'll switch back. Okay, great. But I feel like my color work is improving. Look at how it's, it's gorgeous, not Jody. At all. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Remember my sweater? Do you have any tips for that? Like, what are you doing? Do you smooth... Like, you know, when, the st when you're going around, they tell you to smooth the stitches out so that your floats are longer and not bunched up. Right. So is, is that something that you do? I don't do that. I just make sure there's a lot of slack before my next stitch. I feel like my color work is... I'm slower in it because I want it to be perfect. I Not perfect, but I don't want it to bunch. Like, that's a really important thing for me. So I, I always try and just make those floats looser than you think you need them to be. So I feel like this time going up the needle, which I normally do yeah. in the past, hadn't been quite enough because I've had some pulling. I think when you rush, when we rush, it gets like right? that. Yeah. And so this one, once I like, just even by your hand, look how beautifully yeah. flat like, it looks. Honestly, and when I finished color work, the last thing I did, um, when I moved on to the stockinette in the other color, I steamed it and oh. it just like, Lace. beautiful yeah it really i could i just basically can't wait to see what it looks like when it's gonna be blocked so i steam it a little bit um jody that co these colors are very i just think they're very beautiful and wearable you're gonna wear the heck out of that this is part of plucky's fall 2019 palette and i believe it's in their dyed for ready for you shop right now like as in ready to ship right maybe not Don't on all the bases me. But, but I thought I saw something. But is quintessential plucky palette fall. And so this snug worsted base is super luxurious. It's got 20% cashmere. 70, 20, 10. Alpaca. S Two. Oh, yeah. 10% alpaca. <laughs> Jody, you have to do a matching hat. You have to do the Owen hat. Oh, I'm doing the Owen hat. Look Maybe in another colors. combination. I feel like these. this feels Norwegian. Does this feel Norwegian? Yeah. I love Probably that. Probably because the colors too, the blue. Uh, the blue and the cream and that really rich red. I love it. Oh, that this color? This is going to be my main color. It is? Yeah, that's how she has the pattern. It's not this color. Oh, I thought the whole thing was going to be gray. No. Yeah. No. And that's two with Haley's. See? Oh, yes. It's like, it's a real, like a collar color work. The only thing is, you guys, is I don't, do you think I have enough? For what? To do How the many ribbing rows? at the bottom. Do you really love the ribbing in the bottom? I wouldn't, I would do the ribbing the main color of the sweater, but that's just me. Well, I feel like a giant black stripe around my ass might not be the <laughs> most flattering. Do you know what I mean? Well, I think it's really pretty, but I, I personally would not do that <laughs> to minimize that area i thought this would be plenty for cuffs i thought i would do the cuffs or do you, you not love that you, or you could even do a short stripe and then do the cuff the main color do you know what i mean like a little yeah. stripe just before the ribbing see for the cuff they have the red i think it's beautiful no this sweater is beautiful do you think if you're ordering bow regard dk get another skein of the gray right I do, no, th I do I think, think it's, it's beautiful, Jody. because be... if you wear it with black pants or jeans, it kind of all melts together. Right. I do love that little bit of color work at the bottom with the, like, yeah, I love that. Maybe I just do the red at the bottom in the regular. Yes. Or even just a single stripe, like two rows. Right. Above and two rows below kind of thing. <gasps> Instead of all the ribbing, I feel like that would be really cute. I just love this. Yeah, so I love much. it. It's beautiful. Anyway, this is what I've been working on. Haven't I been knitting a lot? Jody, for someone that didn't have any mojo, you're cranking it out. I found it. But, like, look. The red is almost... I mean, I have so much that red. That red is so I'm going to be able to do a beautiful rich. Owen hat. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and that's the thing, Jody. If you want to do the Owen hat, you're going to need more gray. No? Or you just make it work with something else? I think I just make it work with the combination of what I've Scrappy's got. fun. Yeah. Scrappy's super yeah, yeah. fun. Okay. okay, so before we go to Sock Talk, let's thank our sponsor. Okay. I wish we had a theme song to thank our sponsor. So you guys know how much we love Row One Yarn and their mystery, Carnival of Color Mystery Club. Yes. Um, she's amazing. She does 10 pre-wound. She's okay. Pre-labeled, ready to knit mini skeins. 
and then you get all the info on the dyer and a little treat and it all comes in this beautiful muslin bag do you know what's super fun? It's a surprise every month. Don't what you dire love a mystery? Yes. I love the mystery of it. So many people get this month after month after the month, and they are thrilled because they've got scrappy projects, scrappy blankets. You can knit a harvest crown hat. You can knit all kinds yes, of things. But it's a super fun way to sample, have a tasting of maybe a new to you dyer. The Georgia socks. Ten. Yeah, that would totally work. We are totally shameless. Um, but there's a million it. great scrappy projects. And of course, you know, with Advent type things, if you don't get an Advent calendar, this is actually a really fun way to knit a stripe a day in something. Because you get st still 10 grams of uh, 10 different colors. There's a lot of yarn here. There is a lot of yarn. Is that like a full skein? Yeah. Okay, yeah. That's, That's awesome. 100 grams. And like I said, pre-wound no crazy mini skein That's winding. A game changer. I um, said that for the third time, but it is. It's totally true. Mm -hmm. Okay, this I can't even. This color, what is that? Who is this dyer? I don't know. Does it say it on the paperwork? It probably does say it in oh, here. Oh, we don't want to open it. But up. it's 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 from months past, so don't get all excited. But, I gotta see who the dyer is. But if is. you want to see, sorry, um, I, mean, I think you should do that. If you've never ordered before. The code HELLO20 saves you 20% off your first month. So, do you think they would notice if That's how they hook you. Save 20% off the first month because you're going to want it month after month. It's a really great value. Her shipping is crazy cheap. Who's the yarn is it? Oh, it's the Flying Kettle. Joyce. Okay. Well, no wonder. Yeah, she's got amazing dyers that are participating in this club. So I actually have the Flying Kettle one. You have this kit? Yes, I do remember that. Yes. I remember it. So, Laura, thank you for sponsoring the Grocery Girls videos. They have and, um, uh, a million and one things to do with this yarn, really. I mean, we talk about it every time because we're so grateful. Yeah. She's an episode sponsor, but we really, truly stand behind everything we talk about. And 100%. We, think, we would never, ever gush about something that didn't really right. make us excited. Yeah. So, this it's is awesome. completely from the heart. And uh, I think if you're into scrappy projects, you should try one month at least yeah. and see what happens. And it's super great in these muslin bags. You don't even need a special bag for it. It all comes together. Nice. So thanks, row one. Okay. Um, now where are we going? Now we're going to do some sock talk. Sock, sock talk. If only we still edited videos and added cute little sound effects. Okay, let's show it. Show me your sock. Okay, I have one sock. Whatever. I'm Just super excited about this sock, though. I'm going to tell you how excited Was I am about this. Was she thrilled about the pattern? Um, I hope so. She said she liked it. Yeah. Last summer, maybe even the fall, uh, Christina, who's the cozy knitter, asked. She, she, I think she knew she was going to be a vendor at Knit City. She's one of the ones I'm super excited to see. Brand new. First time ever mm. coming out west with her yarn. Um, she's a self-striping dyer here in Canada. She's based in the Toronto eastern area of the province or the country. Um, this is her. This is her logo. She's the cozy knitter. She has great yarn, and I've used it tons in the past. And she yes. said, "Would you be interested in making a pattern?" No. To launch it in its city, and I was super excited. I said yes right away. I was like, "What? Sure." Um, and so she, you know, we basically kind of put it on the back burner until. Maybe six weeks ago, she sent me her fall colors. We were like, oh shit, right. Then I was like, not really. I was like, I need to get going on this. Okay. I, I get a little bit stressed out about making sure things are done on time. Um, and I really thought, oh my gosh, with self striping yarn, I want to make it something that makes stripes do Move. something. Yeah. Maybe make the stripes dance in a way that's a little bit different. Um, and I, let me tell you, for me personally, <laughs> that took a while to get something that I really liked. Because I think self-striping on its own is gorgeous. Me too. And adding something that's a little simple sometimes gets lost in a stripe. I, I agree. But I love it. I still like even a cable sock in stripes. Yeah. But your stripes are still straight, right? Yeah. I was, in my brain, for some reason, I wanted something that made the stripes move a little bit. Yeah. Um, so Christina sent me her yarn, and I started knitting, and I had lots of fun doing it. I... This is the colorway that I use. Is that all that's left? Well, her her she sent a sock set. So her sock set is 85 grams of the striping and 30 grams of the mini. 
Who needs more than Let 85 grams you, of sock yarn? That is a ton of yarn. So for my medium size sock that I knit, I still had plenty of yarn left. I feel like you could still knit a large pair and still use these stripes. But I, I, I really love the stripes. I didn't use a ton of contrast yarn. I think it would be really fun to do the cu whole cuff in the contrast and you're still going to have tons of tons of room. So her colorway is called Lazy Afternoon. So these are the Lazy Afternoon socks. And Oh my god, you're so funny. Yeah. <laughs> Done. Thank you. Cha -ching. That's what I do with my bag names. Uh these are Lazy, but I did I did love the feel of that name. Yeah. Like who I doesn't do. love sitting around knitting yeah. on a, on a lazy afternoon. So these are the socks. Excuse me. Um, and it's a very simple pattern. I really enjoy It's one of those business in the front, party in the back. It's all stockinette on the back. You're just knitting a little bit of a pattern on the front. Uh, and that's what <gasps> that's what ends up oh, happening. It's so beautiful. I really love it. And it's super uh, easy to memorize, easy to knit. It's not too, it doesn't, you don't have to think too hard. It's got a couple of little eyelet rows. But this decrease running down the middle is what pulls the fabric in. Isn't that amazing? It's so easy, and it's like, what? I said that with the feather and fan, but really, look at the movement. You it's guys, true. it changes it. It's mind-blowing. It kind of is. And so I've knit this and written the pattern as top-down. So it pulls the fabric this way, but if you're a toe-up knitter, it's still going to pull down, but your Vs are going to point the other way without changing anything. So did, let me see the toe. Did you have to stop it? I okay, no. Well, yeah. once as soon as you stop mm. that decrease, then your stripes are going to continue horizontal. So it immediately goes horizontal. So I really didn't want to mess with that. I didn't want to add yeah. lot, tons of contrast. I love the contrast heel, and I had tons of fun editing them. So is boring me. I know. No. So boring. Tracy, I just when you showed me the sample of the swatch, and then when you showed us the picture, I thought. I like it. It's really fun. So I had tons of fun with it. Um, Christina's yarn is going to launch at Knit City. So this is a brand new colorway. This is a brand new colorway. She's got some beautiful, she's bringing lots of favorites and she's got three new ones that are coming out. Are you going to be in her booth at any time this weekend? Shopping. Yes. Okay. <laughs> um, she's bringing her advent skein. So 24 stripes. Yeah, so I better finish my last year's. I got like half a sock. It's ridiculous. I've got to finish mine. Uh, but I'm totally, that's one of the things on my list to bring home a Cozy Knitter Advent. Did I knit mine? I'm trying to think. I think you started. I know I only have half a sock left. And her base is 80% Superwash Merino, 20% Nylon. It's very plump. It's beautiful. Very hard wearing. I still wear a, sock, a pair of socks from her yarn that I knit at the very, like three years ago. And I still wear them. Is there an option to get a larger skein? Uh, well, basically, the kit is larger than any normal skein of yarn. It's 115 grams of yarn. So if you're worried about your foot's really big... Well, or you... normally you get 120. No, you get 100 grams in a skein of yarn. I mean, 100 plus the mini. I'm just thinking for a... Right, I see what you okay. mean. Okay, I see what you mean. Only because... If I was worried about a large size, yeah. or I would do the whole cuff in contrast... And the heel in contrast. Okay. That would be my choice. I'm just thinking for a men's sock. Yeah. Well, you need the... Yeah. Okay. I would do the same thing. Nice. I would, uh, you certainly have enough <gasps> to, to do that. That colorway is very pretty. It is pretty. It reminds yeah. me of cookies. Like, it's actually got a little speckled skein in there. So this sort of... Marilla. I don't usually love browns, but these browns are very pretty. Oh, isn't it nice? Yes. And it's a really, really pur pr um, pretty purple. Kind of mauve -y. I love it. I think it's really cute. So, knit, tested, print. Is it printed? Um, I need to get one. I get need to get a couple of good pictures. Okay. And that's it. It's done. The test knitters killed. I did see. Can you it's, show that? Do you have your phone? I don't here? think I can show that. Well, sh I don't the know. test knitter sock. You don't have to say okay. who it was. Okay. The Nicole one. I haven't asked her. But don't if say I who show it is. It. Okay. Okay. One and then if she thinks that she gets mad. So even yarn that's like micro striping, like it's not specifically self striping yarn, but it does kind of do those stripes. Yeah. Um, okay. So I did not ask. Yeah. I did not ask if I could do this and I hope that she doesn't mind. I'm showing this. This is a test knitter sock knit in one of the Hugh Loco chicken sets. 
Look at this blue, you guys. So it kind of micro stripes and it comes, the chicken set comes with that. I feel really bad showing this. Why do you think it's a secret? Well, it's not a secret, but I, I feel like I should ask. Anyway, I don't think she's going to mind. So anyways, micro striping yarn will do the same kind of thing. It really... Very impressive. Some of the ladies did speckles. It looked awesome. I love it so anyway, much. Anyway, I hope people enjoy it. But I had... Personally, it was a collaboration I enjoyed very much. How many copies are you printing? It's all Canadian. I haven't... I haven't... Asked her? Yeah. Is I'm she doing sure. kit? Like, are you... It'll be on Ravelry. Like, does actually, she want printed copies? I'm not sure. I think we have to work that yeah. out. I'm not an so I know just, she's super busy getting ready for Just it, FYI, so. people are going to want printed copies and, to buy at with her at her booth. Well. Just speaking from experience, that's just me. Okay. Well, maybe I will. We'll talk about that. I do love a gorgeous printed copy. I do too. Yeah. Okay. So that was really fun. That was really fun. Crazy. And this is in my little sock sack from Mrs. Brown's Bags. I do have more sock sacks in the shop. In the antique shop colorway. It's so pretty. Actually, you know those two colorways I Makes got? Makes me drool. From Kim in Bulky at, in the spring at the, the okay, hippie strings. I don't strings. remember which ones you got. It was the pink. Oh, yes. That and tea the, rose, gar rose yeah, garden. And then the blue, tea which party. is... What's the blue with the hits of taupe and speckles? I got her fabric back this week, too. It's incredible. Kim is awesome. Awesome. I love her yarn. She's going to be in it, City. <gasps> Start drooling. I said to Jody, this reminds me of those, when you go to Arizona in the desert, those, like, Navajo blanket things. The colors are so beautiful. It's that incredible. Jody. It's missing heels. These don't have heels. They're tube socks. There's That's a thing. People knit kids' socks Ooh. like this. Jane Richmond has a kid's sock pattern that's a tube sock because your kids feet grow so fast that's smart isn't that a good idea yeah. okay so these we cranked a tube and you put in the heels and they're toes. all cranked and that's why i'm so thrilled about them so this is the yarn jar yeah and you said it was mesa something? mesa something yeah i don't beautiful. know beautiful but, but she has some in her shop right now oh it's so gorgeous is that not amazing yes and then this is just a natural undyed 80 20. don't you just love creamy colored heels and toes sometimes yeah although i do have this red i have a beautiful i'm gonna put a red heel in. i think even black would be awesome this would be beautiful with black that's a beautiful idea i think is that purple or black i think it might be navy i don't think it's navy i think it's black maybe it's i think black. it's a soft black like i like your idea of the dark heel either way i really this love colorway Jody, speaks to this me. is beautiful and it's so it feels so good love it I yarn love it jar so okay so the we're next... having a sock parade the next one I'm going to show is, I know you're probably not going to get it, but it's lollipop yarn. Oh my God, that's beautiful. And these are for my husband. Isn't he lucky? No heels as well. Those would be my last thing Okay, look to at do. that color. Did that come with it? No, this light blue came with it, but Shane... I love the green. Shane wanted to pick his mini, and he wanted a contrast and a bit of a speckle, you know so what? he picked this. With people horning in on my knitting? I don't know. Yeah. He loves picking color. That's great, though. Yeah. So we had all my minis out on the bed, and this is what he picked. Okay, tell me about your toe. That seems very short. It is short. So you knit longer. You can just, know, once you know how long that is. Well, the thing is, is this is a rounded toe. So. Which I love the fit of. I love the fit of it. It's just a little shorter so what I think I have to do is to get the two inches. I think I might have to knit like four or five rows before Plain. I do that. Yes. Yeah. Look so how gorgeous that looks. That's why I didn't put the heels in yet because I have to do some measuring. Okay. And I just realized I don't have something over here. Can I? So you go ahead and tell okay. us about your next pair of socks. Um, so that's really, f you guys, um, Lollipop Yarn, she has lots of updates. You know what you need to do is sign up for her newsletter because she does sporadic updates and just treat yourself once to a ball of her yarn because it's really super beautiful and then the last one i did was uh bitter knitter who is Anne? Oh she God. is coloring book yarn i just bought a skein of her yarn you got the orange and yellow one didn't you i got the candy corn one whatever that one was gosh well when you see her i have her notifications turned on i should not be buying more yarn but um, i did and i love it Oh my god, I love this is blowing out just a little bit. That one's really pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? Yes. This is like a tan and a red stripe. But then you know what I found? 
I found a speckled mini. That's super fun. With the same color speckles as it is. See, when you collect yarn, these things happen. And then I thought I'd put a red heel. Yeah, really cute. <gasps> I love Anne's yarn so much. And then when I saw and missed out. Did you miss out on that? I Do you out. really love it? We can crank a tube no. and split it. No, here's the thing. I never used the whole thing. I messaged Anne. Yeah. I went back on her Etsy page, just like all the um, reviews. Yeah. I went back 18 pages and wrote a list of the ones I wanted and I messaged her. Oh, I didn't need any of them, but I ordered four. Nice. Well, I don't know what it is about self-striping yarn. I feel like it's magical stuff. It is so much fun to knit. Even if you're just doing plain stockinette, I like to do both. I mean, I have... I just finished my um, purse knitting, like my purse stockinette sock that I yeah. take to movies and just, it's in my sock. So I've started a new one and it's Gage Dye Works in her Azurite, one of her Azurite colors. And it's all these blues and then a super bright neon, like corally peach. I'll try oh, and remember to grab it next a... time. It's so beautiful. So beautiful. So I don't know what they're going to be short. I feel like I'm going to knit shorties. So I don't she, have enough shorties. I know, and they're so cool. And they're and I go to when I go sometimes like when the weather's in between like this and I just want to be warmer feet, I like shorties. What are you looking up? This is her oh, I'm totally blowing out today, but Yeah, that's that's it. her candy corn. That's it. And I think I'm gonna put pink with it. Well, it's a blushy pink in yeah, there. I think it's gonna be really cute. Um, you know what I'm a big fan of? What's that? This? Oh, you've got that one. I've got it. It's Lady Rainicorn. You have had so much of her yarn. I have Coloring book. I have several of her socks. I still have a few that I need to knit. I shouldn't be. I'm, gonna, I'm just get sucked in by how beautiful Did they are. Did you do are. the autumn minty ones? I have it. I haven't knit it yet, Tracy. though. Tracy! I know. I have been knitting with self-striping yarn a lot for like six weeks. So I'm super excited. So these um, are just like evening put in heels. Isn't that fun to do? Even travel, like when we go to Knit City, those could be in your... Yeah. That's super fun. So yeah, I, I, I'm actually, I'm, I'm loving sock knitting when my tube is cranked. Good. Good, good, good. Yeah. I, um, I just have a little bit of yarn to show now. Me too. I have some yarn to show, but Jode, we were giving away a year of the Wool and Honey Sleeping Bear Yarn Club. A year. Yeah, you heard that. A year. So thank you to the generous ladies at Wool and Honey. It's crazy. Um, there was, in one day when our last video went up, 800 entries in about 24 hours. Really? Yeah. So over the last time, it was almost 1,700 people. And we said... Um, so the Sleeping Bear Yarn Club celebrates Michigan, and it's on, you know it's always inspired by pictures of something in Michigan. Um, and so our question to get entered was, what inspires you if you were going to design a yarn colorway from where you live? What would inspire you? So I kind of liked that. It was really fun to read what people had to say about where they lived. And this lady said she's from Portland, Oregon, and she said she would make a crisp, cool color that represented the Tryon Creek State Park. She said it's got green trees and hiking trails and it's her favorite place to go for a run. And her name is This Fit Knitter on Ravelry. Mine would what? be This Fat Knitter. <laughs> <laughs> she's fit. She goes for a run. I was like, I hear that. Huh. So she's Yay. designed a yarn. So her name is Raven. <gasps> Raven, we are going to pass your name to the wool and honey ladies and let you guys organize everything um but if you were still interested of course you can go to the wool and honey website and check out the sleeping bear yarn club you can get one month three months whatever you want yeah you can continue it but it is it's really really fun they've got different dyers every month it's I a love beautiful it thing yeah. so it. thank you Mwah. thank you ladies so that was really fun i love drawing silver things this is something i bought did you know? Okay, I'm going to blame Instagram for this one too because I saw it on somebody's Instagram stories at one of these, um, they were at a yarn show. And this is Birdie Parker Designs. And she does jewelry and stitch markers. And it's, this is a necklace. It's so pretty. So her, her metal is embossed with knit stitches. 
And she does all kinds of things. So she punches out different shapes. She does earrings. Yeah. You guys, Her gifts name, for the knitters. Totally gifts for the knitters. So I bought some things. I bought, oh, I really love this one too. So she has a line that's circle shapes. Mm. And I forget what it's called. You'll but, wear these a ton. But one of these is called Georgia. And I think it's the hearts. I don't know what <gasps> I've just done. Would Georgia yet. wear one? I doubt it. She's not super jewelry jewelry but you girl. are you'll wear them a ton yeah so that was i and you can choose the length of your chain oh Tracy. this is the this is the round one but it's got and so this is the silver color that's her um i don't know what she calls it does she call it gold colored it's like a brass and then she's got rose gold in some things nice right? rose gold colors so i love i love it i thought they were really fun birdie Parker Design. Made by hand in Northridge, California. BirdieParker.com. Oh, what a great, um, super cute dangly earrings if you're the dangly. Right. Most people love dangly earrings. I wish I wish I did. I, I have issues. I know. With... I just wear studs and I never take them out. Me either. Yeah. So, and she's got really nice um, fi fittings and chains. Mm-hmm. If I could only put it on. It's a really small eye. I'll do that later. Can you go over, go on, not go over your melon? Yeah, probably. Ooh, that's yeah. gorgeous. Wear it at Knit City. Cute, right? Yeah. Super cute. I do not want close-up shot of my chin area, but right. there you go! <laughs> um that's so funny so anyway that was that was that that's what these are and i really like them i, I like her pretty. packaging yeah and her she's put them in these little slide i always think of lip balm with these tins the smaller ones <sighs> excuse just me slides and it's kind of a nice little thing to have after the fact right I just want to stitch markers or whatever bread. what is with you every time we record a video you're like exhausted you need coffee. It's probably because I'm just sitting doing like so nothing. Usually yeah. I'm up when and around. When do we ever sit around like this? Okay. Doug. Doug. Who is Knitting Bro. He is. He was, um, I followed him on Instagram, but he's also someone who um, wanted to test knit one of my hats. Did an amazing job. Did your no, shawl? Did my shawl. Yes. Yes, With I love that. It was beautiful. So this color... It's called Jawbreaker. That is amazing. Those speckles are amazing. This pink that you're seeing is a mini just wound through it for um, packaging. Okay, that's beautiful. I actually, so now I follow him on Instagram and he has so many beautiful colors of yarn. Yeah. And he does all lots of sock sets like this. But I mean, you can do cowls or the smaller shawls. I know we call them sock sets, but you guys... Do you remember these jaw? I used to get the giant ones in Banff. The jawbreakers? Yes. Yes. On the white back with just those. Like, like the ones that are the size of a baseball and you like just yeah, look Yeah, you it. can get minis, but then you gradually go up to be giant. Yeah. Um, you guys, I couldn't be more thrilled with this yarn. And it's Knit and Bro Yarns, and he's out of Pennsylvania. Well, oh, I love super, it so much. Super, super talented guy. What is going on here? He's very good with speckles. Yes. Yes. His color. Mm -hmm. And he just had a bunch of fall colorways happening. Yeah. There's something weird going on with my ball. Is it not working? Well, I don't know, but I have to show you this. I'll show. Wait, wait for my phone to come up. Is it on Ravelry? I'm, um, it is on Ravelry. What is that? Oh. Is Ravelry down? I don't know. Something is wrong. It has been more than two or three minutes. Please check Ravelry status for updates. Oh. Well, that's not good. Um, speaking of designers. Darn it. I wanted to show you something. That's okay. Really? That's but that's cool. okay. I, I can just open this. Okay, show us then. Um, oh yeah, I saw her. Did you? We yes. must follow the same person. Yes. I did not know about her. Me either. Okay, I want to show you something that I've had for a long time. And I was going to send it out as a prize, but I really want to show it because I love it so much. Did you and buy it? This was a kit given to me when I went to Scotland, when I was at Helen's oh. uh, Curious Handmade Retreat. Elizabeth Doherty was there, yes. the designer. 
and there's always a little marketplace and so you can buy things and elizabeth brought um her this her lineate hat was out at the time okay that's it's beautiful so nice is it color work yes okay it's beautiful and it's knit with a merino cashmere nylon yarn and there's one color that you just cast on with and then two colors that you do the color work with and you use the spin cycle dyed in the wool as a contrast color mm -hmm. so, so what I, would you cast on with? i think you would cast on with this so and you, you would do your row. color weight work <gasps> it looks like an i cord cast on or something but i don't actually know maybe not maybe not but this um lineate pattern was actually in the mason dixon um vote off final four yeah. thing or whatever they're they're when they have it, it went really far. Well, it's really beautiful. And Elizabeth had several of them with her, like different color palettes, like grays with a red. But she was super generous, and she gave us a kit. So these are part skeins. This is Magpie Fibers. Mm -hmm. And this is a full skein of Dyed in the Wool by Spin Cycle Yarns. And it's just... Why do you see Dyed in the Wool? Uh, that's what they call this base. Oh, Their sport weight is called Dyed in the Wool. Okay. This is their deep bump color, which is what? I mean, I'm not usually a green girl, but these greens are speaking to me. Well, and actually deep bump, I've seen with more, way more aqua. This just happens to be a little greeny, I think. Um, but, and it's also, there's a coupon code on here for the hat. Mm -hmm. So it's the full kit. Uh, but I wanted to share it with you guys because I love it so much and I've almost cast it on myself. <laughs> before but i really think it's a beautiful prize and so with it's our a beautiful prize with our knit alongs ending um very soon we are going to i'm going to include this as one of the prizes so i'll That's put it so back nice. and package it up uh, the hat is beautiful i still want to knit the hat i think it's gorgeous because i have some of of this yarn so i think it'll be really fun so thank you elizabeth so um, looking on Instagram this week, I came across somebody knitting this designer's item. Okay. Where, I'm not going to go, go out of here because I feel like, I don't know what, I'm following this lady and I love her stuff, but I don't know where I found her, like where I saw that. And she actually knits the hats for sale, right? I don't know that, but she sells her patterns. Oh, okay. Maybe I'm um, wrong about that. Her, she's, she's a dot op designs o p i e her yeah. instagram's fantastic like it's super modern fun pops of color i love that <sighs> you guys oh oh look <gasps> oh yeah yeah look at that wrap with all the chevrons what's yeah. that oh so now it's probably not gonna take me there oh yeah i it don't is. know what's going on oh i love that the marled Oh my gosh, this is called. I'll link to her design page in our show yeah. notes. Yeah. Um, this is, you know what she uses? I need you to Big write that Bad down. Wool We Packa. Big Bad Wool. Big wall. Bad Wool We Packa. And there's a worsted weight and a finger. So Big weight. Bag, Big Bad Wool is the brand. Yeah. Okay, let's see what that looks like. It's stunning. Her photos are absolutely gorgeous. Right. It just takes a second to load. I wonder if that's her in the pictures. <gasps> Ooh, fun. Chevrons, chevrons everywhere. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's my modem. One day last week, we had no internet. Yeah, I know. A disaster. You guys, look at this wrap. Are you kidding me? You know what I did with that day? Nothing. I, I went to a movie. I took my stockinette sweater and I Tracy, went to a movie. I, I know. I've gone with you. It was. What did I go see? No, you wouldn't have gone. It was the Goldfinch that I went to go see. It was long. Was it good? I read the book this summer in anticipation of seeing the movie because I always feel like the book is better. Um, yes, the book is better, but the book I was like, oh my gosh, when is this thing going to end? It was super long. So yeah, it was a good movie, but I feel like you get more out of it if you've read the book. This is a cowl. That's it's beautiful. Knit as a as tube, a, and then that's beautiful. I just oh yes. What weight of yarn is that? Worsted, and knit in the big bad wool we pack up. She knits everything. What's that? You guys, maybe I, she 
designs for them or maybe I've, that's her company i found this yarn on a website in canadian dollars it was 14 dollars for a 50 gram worsted skein so i wanted to get stuff to make so a that's sweater. pretty pretty i was going to make that sweater the yarn of worsted it's going to be really expensive well how much is worsted weight skein of yarn that's 28 dollars for 100 grams maybe it was just me is that a lot I don't know. Comparatively, maybe. I don't know. <gasps> Look at this. I just... Um, you know what's fun, though, with those worsted weight sweaters is you can use these multicolored yarns for color work. It's gorgeous. Like, you don't have to buy a bunch of colors, but you buy these ones that are... This one... Oh, my God, Jody. This is actual hand spun. So it looks like a lot of the commercial yarns that do this barber polling thing. Mm -hmm. But this lady is out in... Uh, Charlottetown, in, here in Canada. She's Sand and Sky Creations, and she sells her hand spun on Etsy. That's super beautiful. This would be nice for that color work. Like you could have a, yes. back, a background color, and then you get all of this kind of color. I can't even believe. I don't know what I'm going to do oh, with this. The variations it would be, going from color to color. It's really beautiful. Sand and Sky Creations. So... Check her out on Instagram. She has an Etsy shop. This is, it came immediately. That's so beautiful. And fun. She likes a good pom-pom like we do. <sighs> okay, I'll link to her designer page and then you can go and look at all the patterns instead of just one pattern. Okay. Does that sound Let's good? Let's talk about what we've put in our shop. Yeah, we could do that too. I have one more. Oh, okay. More, I have a couple more things, but yeah. Party in your mailbox? I'm super excited about what's in our shop right now. It's been um, high demand. We had people asking if we were ever going to bring our Notions kit back. And so we did, right? Yes. And it's so, our Grocery Girl's favorites. I love this. I know. So Brick Bubble made the gauge ruler of our dreams. Sent her some pencil sketches, and she knew exactly what we wanted. Oh, my gosh. So it's got that window for measuring your swatch. It's got centimeters. It's got inches. And then it's got your um, finding your gauge for your needles. Yeah. From, like, 2 millimeter to 10 Big millimeters. Biggie. You, yeah. And so that's great. It's called your bang-on gauge ruler because we're always all there bang is. on gauge. A lot of information you can get from this. Yeah, it's yeah. really well done. Love it. It's really well done. I feel like we're super picky and we know what we wanted and Brick Bubble did the best job. Um, and she also made these super fun logo progress keepers for us in one of our logo colors. This is a, I feel like calling it a disco progress keeper. It's super blingy. It's super mirrored. I need one of those. Do you have extras? Yeah, maybe not. We can Let's hook you do up. This. No, no, I think we okay. do. Um, so this is our little stitch marker set that we've got. It's got our favorite um, light bulb stitch markers. There's multicolored yeah. ones in there, and a progress keeper. And we found these really great tiny tins. They are. Tiny. It's only an inch and a quarter big, like three centimeters. Yeah. So it fits in everything, and it really let me tell you, it fits a lot of stitch markers. How many do well, you need? They, right, they don't take up much room, right? Like even twenty stitch markers yeah. is easy to fit in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that's something I use all the time. I wonder if there's people that haven't used Tuft Woolen's hand bomb. I mean, if that's you, I feel like you need to give it a whirl because it is the. I'm best. not going to use it, but you roll it up. It's like a chapstick, but it's meant for your skin, you guys. Yeah, it's got all kinds of beautiful oils, like coconut oil, I think, and jojoba oil. So this is our Grocery Girl scent. It's called Pom Pom Pucker. Yeah, you can't get this one anywhere else. It basically, it's like a lemon sugar cookie, like yes. a lemon shortbread. It's not super heavy scented. It's very light and fresh. What? I love it. <sighs> it's exactly what we wanted. It's exactly what we yes. wanted. So Martha... At Tough Woolens made that just for us. And so, of course, right. it's one of our favorites. And we've got it all in our little um, eco canvas bag. So it fits all of my notions, including yeah. my little scale, yeah. if I want. Yeah. Or it is actually the perfect size for your sock on the go. I agree. Or a baby, whatever, baby yes. hat, whatever. But yes. it is the perfect, and it's really soft canvas. It's not that crunchy, gross kind. 
and uh, I love it. I love it. So this is our kit too. that's in the shop right now. I think this Grocery is Girls fun. favorites. I mean, it's limited numbers for sure, but we've got some today. So if you're looking, that's there. Fun. Okay. Yeah. Let's see yarn. Okay. So I do have a couple of things. So somebody I'm really excited to see it in its city. <gasps> Fiddly Dye Works. Who is Kate? Oh my gosh. Stop it. Right. This is her BFL nylon sock base. It's good for anything, hats, God, mitts, that's cowls. But I think she's got, I think she's amazing. So she's in a booth, she and Jenny of Lone Larch Designs. So yeah. Jenny's making bags, Kate has yarn, and they'll be in the same booth at Knit City. This is Olivia, and this is Adira. Her Olivia colorway you guys knit up is beautiful. Yes. Stop it. Did you get that at the Fiber Festival in the spring here? No. You ordered it? Yes. Oh, it's gorgeous. Kate has great fast shipping and she's like she's, she's local to Knit City. She's awesome. She is out in Langley. Which, oh. Which is like that's where the 88 stitches. stitches is. Can she come drive us there? <laughs> I'm sure. We'll she, be at our hotel. I'm sure she has nothing to do. But I just I fell in love with this combo. Yeah. And I'll knit with uh, something I'm I I don't know what I'm going to make. But I love her yarn. And I especially love her BFL base. I love it so much. She's got another base that's an alpaca sock. Yeah. So I'll take a peek at that at Knit City. But she, she's, her colors are... Her DK was beautiful. And the worsted. Nice. Like, I feel like her colors are rich and wearable. Yeah. Like, not so bright out there that yeah. you would feel weird wearing a whole sweater in them. I'm going to tell her I love everything and she's more, she'll give it to me. <laughs> and she, she always gives little Riv Creative stitch yeah. markers, which uh, I use all the time. They're beautiful stitch markers. Yeah. So I only say that because Kate, when we were at the Fiber Festival, she's a I kept saying, oh, this color is beautiful. She kept saying, take it. <laughs> Just take it. No, I didn't take it. But she was hilarious. It's true. I loved it all. Yeah. And she is a sweetheart. So... Um, an awesome Canadian dyer, and I'm super excited to see them at Knit City. Do you have anything else you brought? You guys, if you and people in America, you really should consider coming to Knit City. You know how far your dollar will go there? You know how much know. yarn you can buy? Like, even if you have to fly there. Yeah. Come see us at Knit City. It's fun to go on a road trip with your friends. Yeah. I mean, I think a lot of people in the Pacific Northwest... Just drive across the border and come to Vancouver. Right. And I mean, it's a great place to have a holiday. If you, Even if you're going to make a trip out of it, you know, you're going to go in the airplane and make a trip. Yeah. Um, it's, there's so much to do in the area. So much If you rent a car do. and, you know, drive within a day, you can go see amazing things. Yeah. So and it's you know, gorgeous, Vancouver. We are doing a meet and something, meet and greet at the Knit Night. I'm excited. I can't wait. Okay. There is a knit night happening. Let's talk about this. At, um, Where? So it is at the Waldorf. I want to say the Waldorf Hotel. If you go to knitsocial.ca, you'll see the events for Knit City. Um, the Thursday night has a knit night event that's been added. And I think there's just a giant like restaurant pub area. There's two areas where we can just go hang out and knit. But I think there's going to be some fun shenanigans happening. Yeah, we're going to be part of it. There's going to be a meet and greet. Come see us. Come say hello. We're going to do a live Insta Instagram live. So come be on our Instagram live and yeah. come. Um, come sit and have a cup of tea or have a shot of tequila. That's right. Yeah. Do shots, knit, don't knit. Just come hang out with all the yes. knitters. But we are going to bring, um, fe we're going to have so much fun. We're going to have some festivities. We're going to have some giveaways we are we might have a little few little prizes to bring to knitters so uh the knit social ladies are they've got it all under control it's all going to be fantastic but we're we're excited to go to this first I event know. we love meeting people so yeah. we want as many people as we can to i think come say hello at, at the knit night that would be awesome yeah we would love that because um, you know what our plan is we're going to hit the ground running <laughs> right like we get off the plane about 10 30 quarter to 11 we're dropping our bags at the hotel in storage, and we're going to 88 Stitches. I feel like we need to know the lo the locale a bit better. I feel like that's a giant loop for some I reason. Googled it. Yeah, we're good? We're better off. It's 30. I think we're better off going to the hotel okay. and then. But, but maybe regardless, I'm even if it's a bad plan, that's our plan. Yeah. We're doing I mean, I'm not opposed to going straight from the airport to 88 Stitches. Are they open yet? Yes, they're open at 10 in the morning. <laughs> I, I'm super excited to go back to 88 Stitches and say hello to those ladies. Um, it's a great store. I always wish I was closer to there. They have, yeah. 
it is quaint and cute and packed full of amazing yarn and the nicest ladies yeah yeah you know what i was wondering are we going to do chipotle <laughs> this is what we wonder about when we travel. We do. It's very um, important. Where are the local yarn stores and where is the chain Mexican food? Because I actually feel this is just me speaking out loud. Amber, give me your feedback. I feel like we take our luggage Jody. from the airport, put it in storage at, the, at our hotel at the atrium. From the atrium, we go to Chipotle. That's <laughs> downtown. That's half an hour away. Is it closer to the airport? I have no clue. <gasps> Do they I don't just think skip the so. dishes? I hope so. If they do skip the dishes, we're set. I'm eating Chipotle we'll every day. Party. We'll party in our anyway, room. Anyway, that's just, that's just our, where our mind goes. We are goes. babbling. We literally don't have any idea where these things are. We just want Somebody that. from Vancouver is laughing their ass at us thinking, you're going in and every direction. And if anybody has restaurant recommendations in Gastown... I would love to hear what you have to say. Yeah, we want to buy something casual and fun. Party of twelve, good food, nothing fancy. Casual and fun. Any we kind, want dressy any and not fun. Food. Okay. Uh, what, Jody? What are you doing with that? That's gorgeous. It came the day we podcasted. Is that a gradient, or is that two of the same? No, it's two of the same. It's really beautiful. <gasps> what is that This color? is called Dr. Amp. Is this not a color for that you would buy me when you saw it? Yes. Tracy got lashes. Can you guys tell? I got lashes. Do you, are they, do you love them? Love them. I love having them. If I could get them done like permanently glued, that would be the Don't best Don't you thing feel ever. glamorous without makeup? I just feel, you know what? I have invisible lashes. My me lashes too. are long, but super blonde. Yeah. And this, I've always like mascara is my thing. Like, I don't care so much about other makeup, but mascaras. So, yeah, this has been a game changer. I love the way they look. You always look, like, awake and done. A little bit maintenance. I'm not loving yeah. all the maintenance. Yeah. Because it really is something you have to go every 10 days to two weeks. And okay. it's not cheap. Do you feel like you're ready for a fill after that soon? Or do you think you could stretch it to more like uh, two and a half weeks? Well, I mean... I don't know. Okay. Yes, I felt like I was ready for a fill in okay. two weeks. Okay. So I don't know what's going on. I would like stronger glue. Yes. I would like them permanent. Can you not use Gorilla Glue? Cause so that... I feel like maybe I'll be buying less yarn and going to get my eyelashes done more. Because you wake but up in the morning feeling I have good. to say, I love them. Yeah. I love them. They and look would... beautiful. I, I do love them. What are you getting? Hybrid or just the one-to-one? -one? Both. A mixture. Yeah. Yeah, Love like it. I said to her, I do not want caterpillars on my eyes, but I right. do want... And in between. Yeah, I want them to kind of look like mascara. I don't want to look like I have... I'm going on Monday. Are you? The Shawnee. Yeah. I'm going yeah, back. I do love... <sighs> Maybe I'll have to go to her. You and mom. You'll have to tell me about the price difference, if there is one. What is your fill price? 50 bucks. Oh, she's... 50 for a top-up, which is different than... That's within two weeks. Oh, that's why you're going every two weeks. If it's I after two weeks, weeks, it's $75 as a yeah. fill, I think. That's okay. a lot of money. It is. It, it turns out to I be have, a lot. I feel like I'm super vain. Like, I freaking love these things. Well, I feel like my eyelids are going to cover my fucking eyeballs right away. They're <laughs> falling so much. <laughs> I've never... Yeah, I, I love these eyelashes, but I'm torn. They look beautiful. Thank you. Can we get back to the yarn, please? Let's talk about some more yarn. Who cares about my eyelashes? Um... I just, I bought this in her um, pigeon colorway because it's just so neutral. This is going to be some sort of wrap or it's something. It's so pretty, Jode. I, I love, love the speckles. So it's in her She's got a lot of really pretty colors in there. Look Isn't she? Look at that. It's her squish. Oh. Yes. Look. It's her squish DK and it's her Dr. Amp colorway. See, this feels like what my sweater's knit in. Yeah. Pretty much. So it, I do feel like my sweater was a yeah, DK. Oh, <gasps> Jody. What? I actually could knit a whole sweater in this. Anyway. It's gorgeous. I don't, yeah. I just had it um, in my office sitting there so I can look at it every day. Okay, now we have something for, for everybody else. We've got a coupon code for them. Is it chocolate? No. Oh, sorry. But it is a yarn subscription box. It's, it's by Hypnotic Yarn. Mm -hmm. And their website is yarnable.net. And so she's curating these, um, wow. like a monthly yarn box. That's a huge skate of yarn. 
No? You should feel this. <gasps> oh, wow. That's gorgeous. Is that not screaming fall? So screaming fall. So she contacted me and I actually um, gave her a coupon code for Coffee Talk Socks. This is the month. This box came with a coupon code for Coffee Talk Socks. No. Yeah. You didn't tell me you were in a damn box. Well, yeah. <laughs> That's exciting. It was really exciting. That's so, shit. You tell me. Oh, sorry. Jesus. So this box came with a cute little. Ball sack. Ball sack. Yeah. Um, so that's going to go around your caked yarn, but isn't that color beautiful? And that yarn is super soft. So it came with some little maple candies, which are super yummy. And it came with these little, why did it come with these? Those are embroidery things that you wrap your embroidery thread around. And it also came with a scratch off card. So really fun. Yeah. And it comes with this QR code. So everything about it, you just scan the QR code and it takes you and tells you everything about it. Um, but I think it's really fun, a fun box. And it was really, like, look how tiny it is. That is so fun. Yeah, it's really nice. So she's actually got a coupon code that you can use the first time you choose to get one of these boxes. It's grocery, GG Girls gives you $5 off of your first try of one of these hypnotic yarn boxes. How fun is that? And you can go, and I'll, I'll link all of this, of course, and you go to yarnable.net and you can sign up for her newsletter to know when she opens up because there's only so many spots available yes yes. so yes. if you get the newsletter and she says i'm opening up spots today if you wait too long you might run out of spots oh yeah right but so she's given us a coupon code that you can use for five dollars off your first box forever so i don't think it's going to run out so if you, even if you decide next month you want to do this you can still use the coupon code nice yeah but i was very impressed with this yarn it feels yeah, it's different. Beautiful. It feels different. It's an it's 8515. 8515. Okay. Plush fingering, she's calling it. And this is the New England color. And we're going to just give this out as a prize because it's really fun. Okay. Speaking of 8515. Yeah. We've got something super fun oh, in the works. Yeah. Um, we're just going to tease about it a little bit. Yeah. Um, it is a. We did just recently Kits. get this question in the Ravelry group. What was the question? The question was, will you be doing a holiday kit in your shop again? The answer is yes. Yes. So that is definitely in the works. So that's not going to be very long before that's available. Um, it's amazing. Number one. Number I, two. I'm dying to share. Like I can't even. We have chosen a local Alberta dyer. Thank goodness she said yes. <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, they will go on sale. When are we going? Big I would say the end of October sometime. Yeah, they will go on sale for a... It's not going to be very long. A week? In a month, we'll have way more info. I think they've um, got to go on sale the third week in October. Yeah, and ship that's going to be no problem. Ship the first, second week in November. Anyway, we'll figure that out. It's amazing. I'm super, I think it's beautiful and I'm beyond excited and I think people are going to love it. So if you're looking for a fun kit for your bestie, for yourself, for someone at the holidays, um, just keep that in the back of your mind. Because there's a limited number. And it's course. not a mystery. You're going to see what it looks like and then you're going to be like, I hope. It's really fun. You're going to go and go, wow. <laughs> that's right. Okay, that's it for me. Um, okay, let me just share one more, two more things. That's actually not true. That's not That's not true? Me. Jody? oh, for God's sake, look at the time. Okay, this I'll show next time because it'll be bigger. Okay, new, Cana new to me Canadian pom-pom lady, Peony Lane pom-poms. She does snap-ons, not strap-on, Jody. <laughs> that should be her, like, tagline. Oh, yeah. Snap-on, not strap-on. I'm sure she'll be all over that. You're welcome. Um, oh. This one's blue and black. And they're all the snap-on kind, so you sew the little snap. Oh, oh, Jody, take it, take it. No. Take it. I don't even know if that's going to be it. Well, take it and decide. So she's got tons of um, 
sizes available. These were vacuum packed. Like they just, they they need to be blow dried and all that stuff. But look, she has tons of, of ones that are available. Ooh, I, just, I like this. I know that one's a crimpy one. No, that's not. Here go. is. I think that something like this, but bigger, would be nice on this. Yeah, it's pretty. Maybe. Yeah. But the red's pretty splashy, Jode. It looks beautiful on it. So anyway, Peony Lane pom poms, Canadian. Very beautiful. exciting. You ordered all these? Yeah. Sign up for her newsletter Gorgeous. too. Beautiful. Oh. So Thank you for we've this. We've been getting Excuse some me. worsted and DK in our prizes and stuff, so I. I feel like I'm going to add some of these to, to those to make hat kits. You're so sweet. Well, some. Not all, people. I'm pretty excited to have them myself. Do you have more yarn that you brought? No. Okay. Where's so. the snappy part? Is it this thing? Yeah, I take it, it apart. Pull it off. Okay. Pretty sure. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. <gasps> so sew that to your hat. And then it, this is interchangeable. I know. And you guys, then you can wash and block your hat again. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. It makes washing really, really easy. So Mockingbird Fiber Company is, I believe, sisters. I want to say sisters. They actually have a podcast and they dye yarn and they had an anniversary colorway and they thought we needed a, a skein. That's crazy beautiful. <laughs> it's crazy is right. It's actually called 90s Skate Party and it, it's got the black speckles and it's super bright and super fun. Very pretty. Um, and they included that when I ordered this rustic sock, which is a tweed. This is BFL nylon tweed. Oh, it's beautiful. The color. I feel like it's really, really pretty. That would make great mittens or a hat or certainly socks. Um, so Mockingbird Fiber Company. It's beautiful yarn. Very, yeah. And they kind of do it all. Pretty. They've got brights and, you know, these pretty tonals. Okay. Okay. This is crazy. Right? What? That's beautiful. I have seen, I saw this base and I thought, oh my gosh, what is that? And I'm starting to see lots of dyers with it now, but this is, um, I saw it first with Chelsea Yarns. So this is what the are they calling that? Chelsea Lux Yarn Base. She's calling it her, do I want to say Pebble? Yeah. Pebble maybe? God, but this it's interesting. It's fingering weight, single ply yarn, and then it's wrapped with the nylon. But some areas are are just sort of left unwrapped, and they make these little bumps. So it's single ply, but with the nylon wrap. Okay. Lots of people are starting to dive this. I, I, oh my God, Christina, she's got of course. Oh no, she's calling it cobblestone. Sorry, Lux cobblestone. Um, she is a sweetheart and she's crazy talented. She's of course got the Chelsea Pearls podcast, her and Marion, and they are out in Red Bank, New Jersey. So the next time we get out, you know, New York, New Jersey way, we'll have to pop in there because their shop looks amazing. And she had kits with her mohair and this cobblestone. God, that colorway is And gorgeous. she's made a hat pattern. And so oh. you hold them together and make a hat. But it's 400 meters. It's 438 yards. So it's right around like that 400 meter yeah, yeah. mark. You could make an amazing cowl, shawl, whatever. I can't imagine how gorgeous this is going to be together. So I was just intrigued by the little bobble things. I don't know. This is not going to pick it up. Hello, Stella also came out with a base. Yes. And that was just a picture. You I can't really see I think lots of it. people are dyeing it now. It's beautiful knit up. But look at this color. Yeah. Stilettos and denim. Okay, I'm going to search Chelsea. Chelsea Yarns, I think it is. is her, pod, her Instagram. I just, I was just like, well click add to cart this is Ooh. too beautiful her colors are hat? really beautiful that's the hat so even though it's stockinette it looks textured because of these little the nubs. nubby things so this is something that got me really excited and especially the color this color i could do a sweater in for these sure. aren't going to show these are all colors that chelsea yarns has yeah, done go, she's on got, the nubs go to her online shop some of her colors are just she's very there's your color up there. Yeah. Stunning. That mauve. And God, even, that's beautiful. Right? <gasps> yes. Anyway. 
she's got I have never yeah that's um, Sandy by the Lakeside they did a collaboration Be gorgeous so anyway Christina's yarn is beautiful oh starting to get dry here already you guys um, I was hoping for a little bit warmer like today's rainy I was hoping for more of a beautiful like fall. transition yeah yeah and maybe we'll still get that who knows it's going down to sea. if I wake up and there's snow on the ground tomorrow I will burst into tears it's too early it's just too early um, I have a mammogram tomorrow you do mm, what time 10 Good girl. 30 take care of the girls it's I have it in my calendar every year to remind me I go in September or October so this is my this is just my yearly yeah I usually go sometime around my physical which is oh, like January -ish. I get that as soon as we get back do you yeah yeah that's great I love it I love a good physical said no one ever <laughs> I love a good pap smear oh my gosh as much as I know important mammograms are it feels like things are gonna get ripped off or like your nipples gonna shoot just off. something's gonna like you know like an orange like bursts if you step on it that's what right. it feels like they're just like squish it as hard as they can and then just give Are it you okay? another yeah. twist. Good, because we're not done yet. <laughs> anyway, well, that was a, a jam-packed episode. I did not that have a very pile of things, but I'm really glad I got to share most stuff. And so... Well, count... people can never say we don't talk yarn. I hope not. I don't... Yeah. Right? Yes. I mean, I mean it was 20 minutes of babbling about other things, but... That's okay too. Feel free to fast forward. Who cares about yeah. my almond milk latte? So or I have, your hair. I have a sale in my shop still. Okay. Oh, we'll put that link below. I will also link um Grocery Girl's Etsy shop. Oh yeah, good idea. Um if you find the notions kits, that means there's some in stock. Yeah. Unfortunately, if you go there and it's empty, we are out until mm -hmm. we announce some more. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's, there's quite a few. Our kit so I hope you get them because yeah. it's not a tiny number. Right. But um, I do love them and they're really things that I do use all the time. So I'm glad other people enjoy them too. I agree. Yeah. I'm glad. So come see us at Knit City. Come see us um, at the Knit Night. Say hello when we're shopping. We'll be at the Pub Night, which is going to be super exciting. Um, just a word of caution. Avoid my table. <laughs> Because I don't know very much stuff. Go to hers. No, I'm not. We're not there to win. You're there to just to have fun. Because there's not very many winners. So you might as well just go and have a good time. We're there to win. We did. I was going to say we did medal last year. We did win a prize. Yeah, see, we didn't. I think we were the lowest team. <gasps> so what? We maybe got asked to leave. It was because of the combination of the other knitters. It's not me. But, what but we'll we, have a ball. I but promise. what we did have... A hoot. Totally. We laughed hysterically. You get to meet like 10, I think there's about 10 of you at a table, right? So you meet nine new people and you have tons of fun. It was really fun. Yeah. I'm excited oh for Knit City. Because they have, we got there a little bit late. We were running late. I don't know if I told this story before, but then you tap the, the, the host, <laughs> the host of the table comes. Like it's always these the designers that are well It's all like stuff. fabulous people. And right? then it's like, and who the, are you? I'm not kidding. I got up to the table and they asked, who are you? <laughs> Nobody important. Oh my gosh. You can switch tables now. I'm just telling you. So you what, might... I thought you were the team captain. I don't know. Totally. Oh, but we, we did have fun. Oh, that's too funny. Yeah. That makes it hilarious. Oh, that was the start. Of it's the... a super fun night. They make, they yes. do such a good job of this whole event. I'm really, Julie really excited. Julie Aslan sang. Arnie and Carlos are going to be there. Yes. They're, they've got their um, keynote speech Friday yeah. night. Tickets are sold out, so I've I've really always wanted. I'm gonna hope we get to wave to them. Hi. I'm getting a. I want I'd like to get a, a picture with them. with them. Yeah, you should bring your balls that you knit. One of them. I should, and I would say, I love your balls. See if they'll like. Um, like they haven't heard that eighty million times. See if they'll autograph one. I do think they're very a little bit um, a smidgen naughty, so they are not gonna mind that. I do watch their videos on YouTube every do you know Sunday. What? They may be staying in a hotel room very close to ours. Who wants to play Knock It or Ginger? I do. And Carlos. Yeah, I totally. do. Okay, that's it. We oh gotta my go. god. Two they're thirteen. Gonna, they're gonna have a security detail now. Two fourteen. Yes, yeah. I know, Jody. I noticed. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Have a great couple of weeks, knitters and friends. Goodbye. Have a good one.